you know, I, I know that one of the number one questions is going to come up later is like, how did you go from a stay at home mom to really like seriously, seriously, like being your own on to being your own business owner, being an entrepreneur and just making it happen. That's like that's like that's as everyone's dream not to be a stay at home mom. But the dream to be able to make that transition either from a stay at home mom to a full time entrepreneur from a working a full time job to a full time entrepreneur. It's amazing. But don't give it away yet. Don't get away yet. Um, okay. We're going to get started in a second. OK. OK. But I got to ask this question. What book are you reading now? And what's one of the takeaways? Like right now I read this book. Uh, I refuse to live talented and broke. I refuse to live talented and broke. My good friend. Uh, Delano Johnson wrote this book and it's the 10 keys to unlocking your creative earning potential. Tell me what you're reading now. Now, what's been one of the best books you read over the last year that you like to share with me? Because I'm always looking for good, cool tips before we get going. Oh, I love it. I am. I am definitely a reader. And I'll tell you that being a radio show host, one of my favorite things, this is one of the perks of being in radio is all the books I would get sent every single week. So anybody we interviewed we would, you know, most in most cases, they would send us their book before before we went on on the show. So I was getting five to twenty books every every week across my desk when I was when I was hosting my radio show, and we used to give away at the end of the year at our we'd do a, a little holiday gala at the end of every year, and we would wrap up the books. I would personally gift wrap the books individually because I like to gift wrap. It's one of those like soothing, calming things. And we would give away 150 books every year just so I could just so I could purge. So now that I've been off the air for about a year and a half, I have to buy my own books now. And um, and so I'm always on the lookout. And anytime I come home from a conference, my my bag is so heavy because of all the books I'm always picking up. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm actually looking. I just cleaned off my desk, and I shouldn't have, uh, knowing well, you were going to ask you, you me. You should definitely clean your desk off. It's okay to do that. <laughs> um, so I just finished reading um, Sharon Lecter's Think and Grow Rich for Women. I was mm-hmm. I was in a book club, mm-hmm. and I read Sharon Lecter's Think and Grow Rich for Women. I'd been they're doing the Think and Grow Rich national tour with John Shin, who wrote the. Think and Grow Rich for Asians version of the Think and Grow Rich book. And so I went to a couple of those events, connected, reconnected with Sharon, hadn't seen her for for a few years. And so we decided to do a whole whole little woman's uh, Think and Grow Rich for Women book club. But I also, um, weirdly enough, I like to read my own book. Is that like weird? I'm like, hey, there's some Your good own stuff book? in there. Get out of here. <laughs> Because I have to remember what I wrote because mm-hmm. people are always asking me, you know, questions and I know it's in my book. So I have to stay, you know, I have to write something and you're done with it. You kind of like let it go. Mm-hmm. But I have to remember that there are people that are currently reading it. And so I, I read it to remind myself so I can I can stay in the conversation about my own book. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of crazy, but that's that's kind of good. Look, you've interviewed a lot of folks. We're going to get started. We'll do a mic check in a moment. We got to get going. We got a, a great show, a great lineup. You're going to talk about using PR to grow your business, to grow your brand, to bring in clients. But I'm just curious. You've interviewed over two thousand, over four thousand guests. You've done so many different shows along the way. Um, what's one or two golden nuggets that you would share with us as entrepreneurs? Because you're on the tour now, and I know you're on the on the small business tour. We'll get to that. I know you've written this fabulous book. We'll get to that. We'll get to the how do you get to get onto media. But first, I'm curious of all the interviews you've done. Can you give me one or two interviews that you did? And what was the lesson that those folks who are behind the scenes can walk away with right now? Oh, that that's a hard one because I have interviewed about 5,000. I think it crossed over 5,000 people finally that that I've interviewed. And so when you think about like the voices in my head, not only are they my own, but all the different pearls of wisdoms and tips and advice that, I mean, countless and countless professionals, business professionals, authors, you know, some of the greats in business. Um, but Jackie Collins' voice, like her accent still still resonates with me. Um, you know, she's not, you know, really known as this entrepreneur and this business woman. But if I recall correctly, she sold over 40 million copies of her books in you know interpreted in all the different languages and you know for any author to have you know to have their book turned into a bestseller and to have it 
translated into multiple languages and to be able to sell that many copies of of a book. But she was so charming. She was just so charming to interview and and to and to talk to. And I think the biggest the biggest piece of advice is you do you. Right? Mm-hmm. They're like everybody else is already taken and we're so caught up in trying to compare ourselves to somebody else's journey and what do they have? And of course now with social media, right? We're we're comparing like our oh how do they say it? We're like our bloopers to somebody's highlight reel, right? Because what we see on social media is of course the highlight reel. What we see in the accolades through publicity and PR are are their milestones and their achievements. And so it's really easy to get caught up in in trying to compare ourselves to somebody else. So so from Jackie, it was it was just mm-hmm. you do you, right? You be you, you do you, because everybody else is already taken. And you have your own your own gifts and talents and personality and nobody else is is in that space and so you do you you own your space and then you do think you about- you own the space you do you you own the space i love it now we haven't got started yet we're about to get doing oh. on how you went from oh. being off the mom to something else we're, we're gonna go live in a moment but tell me the other person you got warren carlisle he's in the house what's up warren carlisle he's here to support you cheryl diane is in the house uh thanks a lot for joining we appreciate it martha's in the house Thanks so much for joining. We appreciate it. Sakisha's in the house all the way from Florida. Her and her husband doing some amazing things, by the way. They got a movie coming out. They're going to have a show coming out and so many things. Katisha Batiste is on here. Jacqueline Fulton's on here. We got to get going in a moment, but tell us the other area that you learned, and then we're going to kick off because we're going to do something great today. So we're not even live yet, by the way, just to let you know. I love that. it. I love it. I just love your energy. It is 11 o'clock at night. Well, and it, you first of all, it depends on started. where you are. It depends on where you are in the world. Sheila Reynolds watches from Germany. It's like in the morning time. It's an eight-hour difference. She's just waking up. And if you're over in the UK, you're just getting going. If you're in South Africa, you're, you're in Colorado. You're two hours behind me. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. It doesn't matter. But, yes, it is the late night show, baby. <laughs> I told my husband I was doing the late night show, and he says, "You're doing what?" Because I am not a late night girl. You're, you're not. Well, you look great. Hey, every, everyone who's joining on, she was worried about how she was going to look. By the way, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Look right below the video as we get going. Look right below the video, and just say, just say, just say, Angel Fussy, you look great. Angel, you look great. Look right below the video. Do me a favor, Tony Moore. She's an incredible attorney. You've got to meet her, by the way. She's just amazing. I know you do a lot of PR. You got a lot going on. Dorsey's in the house. Dorsey, let her know she looks great. Someone look right below the video. I got to get going. Look right below the video and just say, you look amazing, by the way. You got Richard Duffy. He said he wouldn't miss it for the world. He's in Arizona. He says, 810, what's up? Ha! Holla at your girl. You got April Raven Robbins on here. It says, hello, everyone. Warren Carr. If you got Warren making comments, you got Warren, like, Octonation oh. in the house making it happen, <laughs> then you got the rock stars. He says, Angel, it is 4 a.m. earlier. <laughs> You're a 4 a.m. riser? I didn't know that. Um, Sakisha uh, says, Angel, you look great. Stacy Moore says, Angel, you look great. Tony Moore says, Angel, you look great. Jacqueline Fulton says, you look great. Angel, guess what? Guess what? What? You look great. <laughs> look, I gotta get going because we have we have a show. You've got to break this whole PR down. Do me a favor for those folks that are here early. Before we kick off, give them one idea. Give them one idea um, that you share maybe in your book that they can take away right now that we're not going to talk about later. What's one idea that an entrepreneur can do to get media attention for their business? Okay, I'll give you guys one cute little secret that um, in order to get media attention for your business is to connect with the folks that you that are in media, the influencers, the radio hosts in media, like them, follow them on social media, right? This is not rocket science. Most of the time there's people we want to connect with, we want to be on their show. We don't even follow them. We don't even like we haven't even tagged or liked or followed. And so let's just start with something really basic and start connecting with the podcast hosts, the radio show hosts, the magazines, the influencers, and at least start following them on social media. I like that. Start following them on social media. You can do that, by the way. I want you to know, Angel, you look great. With that being started, I'm getting a signal. We're going to get started in five. And it will be really serious. Four, 
three, two, one. Let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, The Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm so super excited because we have an opportunity to have a conversation this morning, this evening, this afternoon, no matter where you are in the world right now, with none other than the one and only Angel Tussie. Everyone say hello to Angel Tussie. She's in the house all the way from Colorado. I got that right, right? You're in Colorado? I am. That's good. What, what part of Colorado? I'm from Denver, Colorado. So I'm actually in a town that's about 20 miles south of Denver. Oh, wow. Well, thanks a lot for joining. We're super excited to have you here, by the way. You got none other than my man, Clark Garrison, that's in the house. He, you got, got to connect him with you. One of the number one blog and podcast radio stations here on the East Coast. He's out of Atlanta. So, Clark, I got to make sure I connect you. You've got to have her on your show, man. Super fantastic. You're going to be glad that you did, by the way. And so we'll be talking about, yes, the media. Yes, how you can grow your business. Yes, how you can extend your brand. Yes, how you can extend your message. Yes, how you can get more clients. And how you can do it with more eff less effort using the media. But before we get into that, before we get into how famous Angel is, let me let Angel say hello to everyone. So Angel, give them a warm welcome, say hello, and give them a sneak preview of what we're going to be talking about today because they're going to learn the three keys to gaining more leads and attracting more publicity using some innovative approaches. So say hello to everybody. Well, hello, everybody. Shay, thank you so much for having me tonight. I've been looking forward to this since the day I met you at a sponsorship for influencers live our friend roberto brought us together and um, i was a, a radio show host for 10 years hosting my own radio show mm -hmm. nationally syndicated coast to coast hosted over 2,000 broadcasts interviewed about 5,000 guests on my show and i'm going to give you all the insider secrets tips and tricks of what it takes to get the media to fall in love with you wow 2,000 shows 5,000 guests we're going to get into that that's going to be amazing my promise is we're going to do something great you know you need to you need, you need to have something like this so, so when you, whenever you do your next show um i'm gonna give you a tip have something like this on your desk do something great and that's what Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, you, you can't have the same. This was a custom made <laughs> sign just for me. That's what they told me. All right. Didn't well, I get this at Hobby Lobby? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you had the same sign. Like that is like, you, <laughs> I, was, I was about to go to do this whole monologue on how we all can do something great. And that was gonna be my lead into the Champions Creed, but you oh. taking it away from me. But that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. It's all love. No, like minds think alike. 
Good answer. That's even a better answer. Look, do me a favor, Alinda Reese. Do me a favor, Stephanie Marshall. Do me a favor, Clark Garrison. Do me a favor, Kat. Do me a favor, Andrew. Everyone is watching. Look right below the video right now. Look right below the video and write these words. Do something great today. Just do me a favor. Look right below the video. What's up, Stacy Moore? She said she was not going to miss this, and she is here. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and say, do something great today. Not for yourself, but for someone else. Just do me a favor. Look right below the video right now. Look right below the video. And as you're doing that, I'll find you online and put do something what? Great today. Now, why are you writing those words? Because that's a reminder to yourself. Something great could be a smile. Something great could be letting someone know you appreciate them. Something great could be a kind word. Angel, what's something great that someone could do for someone else right now? What's up, Shanice Alexandra? Thanks so much for joining. It's good to see you. What's something great they can do? What's something great they can do? Yeah, um, for somebody else. Not for themselves because we want to bless someone else. Like We don't want this to be about us. We want to make it about somebody else. You know, pay a compliment. Right. Reach out. I think anytime that somebody comes to your mind, it is not an accident. Reach out to them. Pay them a compliment. Let them know they were in your thoughts. And it takes nothing but to do a text, even a social media post, a private message, um, somebody even in person. Tell them what tell them. Tell them something special. I think that we beat ourselves so much. We have that little voice in our head that's always uh, telling us how we're not good enough kind of beating ourselves up and so to hear to hear somebody else out loud somebody that means something to us compliment us it goes it goes so far wow i like this i'm gonna start by commenting you saying you are amazing and i appreciate your energy and i appreciate you taking time and all the little tips you would give me before we get started so thank you so much that's something great i've done today i played it forward and i'm gonna pay it forward to andrea stuckey who's on here right now thanks a lot for joining to Dorsey, who says, do something great today, like give Warren a spanking. What? <laughs> what is going on? Dorsey, you can't put that kind of stuff down. I, I tell you. Uh, Stephanie Marshall said, do something great today. I got to read these first, huh? Alinda uh, Reese said, do something great today. Clark Garrison said, do something great today. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and put do something great today. Here's what we're going to do. For all those folks who are tuning in for the very first time, for all of you who are joining you're at the right place at the right time. One of my favorite segments, and don't worry, Dorsey's going to talk about how to get the PR for your company. But one of my favorite segments before we get going, uh, Angel, is something called the Champion's Creed. And you talk about do something great today. It's where we all step back as entrepreneurs. We uplift another entrepreneur. We pat another entrepreneur on the back. We encourage someone to keep on going. We encourage someone to fail and to fail fast. And we encourage someone to take on their fear. And this is something that was given by my mentor at the time. It was Tom Hopkins gave me this and said, Shay, you need to say this in order to keep you going. This was 15 years ago and is held near and dear to me. What's up, Cheryl Graham? She sent me something and said, I'm going to be there in the front row she's in the front row right now thanks for joining all of you do me a favor hit the share button every single one of you hit the share button right now and just write the words do something great just hit the share button angel i know you're gonna give away your insider secrets i mean five thousand interviews the number one radio show how you went from being a stay-at-home mom to being voted the number one woman in the world we're gonna get to that but can they pay this message forward to their groups can they pay this forward to other op um other groups that are out there Oh my gosh! Absolutely, absolutely. Please so do me, do. So do me two favors. One, hit the hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the heart button. Number two, hit the share button. And pay this into another group, into another organization. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Champions Creed. Here's how it works, Angel. I put up this sand, and then I'm gonna read the Champions Creed. And then when I read the Champions Creed, we're all going to look below the video. Every one of us was up Ella Carroll out of Kansas. We're going to look right below the video, every one of you, and we're going to write these words. We're going to write, you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. We're going to encourage someone that's doing really, really well because there's a lot of pressure when you do well. And Angel's going to talk about that. The more successful you are, the more pressure there is. We're also mm -hmm. going to encourage someone right now that's right on the edge. And we're going to encourage someone else that's thinking about getting in it, but they're a little fearful. Should I jump? Should I not jump? Should I jump? Should I not jump? So you're going to look right below the video, and you're going to write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag 
keep on going. I'm saying you because you're not talking to yourself. You are encouraging someone else. So let me read this, and then I'm going to ask you to read it after I read it, Angel. Okay, so let me read okay. it. Everyone can participate. Y'all look right below the video and write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. What's up, Darren Stern? I see you out there. Okay, the happy entrepreneur. Champions Creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, and boy have I failed, but by the number of times I succeed, holla at your boy, and the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail, Daryl, but I keep trying, and I keep trying, and I keep trying, and I keep trying. So with that being said, what I want to do for those folks that are looking below the video right now, and you're putting you are a champion, hashtag keep on going. When you see those words, I want you to hit the like button. I want you to hit the heart button. I want you to encourage that person, say, yes, you are, and pay it for it. Angel, I'm going to ask if you'll read the words in a moment, okay? And then before we talk about all the interviews you've had, all the PR expertise that you're going to unload and lock this evening on this episode, before we talk about you being voted the woman of the year, going from a stay-at-home mom on the couch, before we talk about what you've learned in business and on the tour you are now with small businesses traveling all around this country, before we talk about the lessons you learned from all the people you interviewed, I want you to take a moment and talk about what it means to have a setback in your life or mm -hmm. failure, and then what lesson did you learn to become a champion? Now, don't worry. I'm going to get into all the wonderful stuff, and I know we don't have a run sheet, but do you mind doing that for the audience that's listening right now to encourage and to inspire them? I would be honored to. Good. <laughs> okay, it's going to be showtime. It's showtime. Before we do that, I got to recognize Andrea Stuckey that says, you are a champion. Carol said, Ellen Carroll said, you are a champion. Dale Stern says, Angel Tessie rocks. We're going to find out, out this evening, baby. We're going to find out this evening We gonna, or this morning. We're going to find out. April Raven says, you are a champion. Keep on going. Stephanie Marshall says, you are a champion. Sashana says, you are a champion. Cheryl Diane, what's up? She's in the house. Said, you are are a what champion okay go ahead and read the champion's creed and then we're going to hear your number one challenge and setback take it away angel all right the happy entrepreneur champion's creed i am not judged by the number of times i fail but by the number of times i succeed and the number of times i succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times i can fail and keep trying and keep trying and keep mm -hmm. trying. We have to have the remix version over here. We're part of the Puff Daddy <laughs> generation, all right? So we got to have the remix every night and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying because it's going to be more than one failure. It's going to be more than one setback. All right, take it away, Angel. Tell us about a time you had a challenge. What was the setback and the lesson learned that we all can adopt? And then we're going to get into some good PR stuff. What's up, Sarah Muller? You bring out the all-stars. What's up with that? You just bring <laughs> out the all-stars this evening. Gee, Moniz. All right, take it away. All right. So a setback that I had um, was actually not too long ago, um, less than a year and a half ago. We've been talking about that I was a radio show host, hosting hosting my own radio show for 10 years. I was hosting a two-hour business talk show. And then with a six-minute commercial break, we changed station or changed studios, and I was hosting a two-hour Christian lifestyle show, which meant I was hosting four hours of talk Monday through Friday. And in, in the world of radio, there are not a lot of radio show hosts that host four hours of daily talk. And there are less than a dozen women across the country that host four hours of talk radio every single day. I was living my dream job. I was getting invited to all the charity events in town. I interviewed all, I mean, I, like I said, almost 5,000 guests. Tom Hopkins even interviewed him multiple times. Daryl Stern, Jeff Cade, right? I, I've had so many opportunities. I was living, I was living my dream. Um, my goal was to be one of the top radio show hosts in the country, um, to be nationally syndicated, to be award-winning, and we were hitting, we were hitting milestones. Um, best morning show three years in a row. And you know, named the most positive business talk show in America. So I was, I was totally living my dream. And about a year and a half ago, it was a Wednesday in March. I was getting ready to set up. We were setting up for our for our talk show. 
a client had flown in from Miami, Florida to Denver, Colorado to be the guest on our show. He was setting up his camera. He was going to do a Facebook Live of, of the show and do some extra extra publicity for it. In five minutes before we went live on the air, I was called into the producer's office and we were told these cute little words, this, this little phrase that changed my life in an instant. And that phrase was, we've made a change. And five minutes later, I was being escorted out of the building with my cardboard box that held my disco ball because even though it was radio, every Friday we'd put up our disco ball and hold a dance party on the radio. But I had my disco ball and a cardboard box and my client being being escorted out of the building because the show of the station had made a change. They were no longer picking up and broadcasting our show. And my 10-year career within the next 24 hours was pretty much erased with no explanation. Now, this is pretty common in radio, right? There's usually no warning. There's usually no explanation. They don't spend a lot of time talking about where did that host go. If you've ever been listening to a favorite radio show host and one day they're gone, there's usually zero explanation. And even though I'd seen it a hundred times, I I just imagined being on the receiving end of it, it would have been a little more adult conversation would have taken place. So at the same time, kind of in that same time frame, my two oldest daughters decided not to move down the street out of the house, but move from Colorado to Florida. So I was becoming an empty nester. My, my still had my one son at home and a business, uh, my business partner and I are, 10-year business that we had that was a lot focused around the publicity of the radio show, we decided to close the business. So I was 48 years old. I just lost my career. My children were moving out. I was closing my business. And the only thing I thought, you know, I should be investing in would be Netflix and Ben and Jerry's (laughs) because the bottom fell out. The bottom just fell out. Out My identity, um, everything I knew, everything I loved. Everything I knew, I, everything was just gone, just just like that. But when one door closes, another one opens. And now that I've had obviously some time and to to recover and bounce back and and recognize the shift that everything happens in our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And I had a fantastic career in radio, and I I had taken it as far as really I was ever going to at that point. And now I had an opportunity to to rebrand, to redefine myself. I started my own new company. I started traveling across the country speaking, doing public speaking. And in the last year, I spoke on over 100 stages, 45 cities, six countries. And um, my husband travels with me and I'm having I'm having the time of my life. Wow. And so your message to the audience would be what? I love that story. What, right? What? Um, go ahead and cry. <laughs> I got you on that one. I got you on that one, didn't I? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, go ahead and cry. Uh, you know, it was it was one of those real soul searching times for me oh. where where I think it's really easy to get caught up in worrying about what everybody else thinks about you. You know that I'm going to be. You know, I'm a failure, and I was fired, and. Um, you know, just really, it would be really easy to get caught up in what everybody else was thinking about you. Um, but I didn't, I, I was able to, to really just step back, have some reflection, some quiet time, get some guidance from some, some mentors and people really close to me. Um, and, and took a little time to breathe, but then But then as I was thinking, I'm going to take some time back, take some time out and time to breathe. Like the answers came immediately. I had um, somebody had sent me a a text message that was talking about media and PR and 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 teaching publicity. And it just sparked something in me. I got my crayons out. I got my markers out. I'm down on the floor. I'm drawing out a whole new business plan and a business idea. And like, this will be my signature talk. This will be my program. This will be the book. This will be the retreat, and 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 it just it just poured out of me like water, and I was able to I was just able to pick myself up and run again. But but only after I gave myself permission to cry and step back and 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 just imagine I could be something else. 
you know what? I, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for being authentic. I know he's going to share all that, but I, I certainly appreciate you getting to that. For those folks that are listening out there, like Letitia Nakoda says, I love it. Like Stephanie Marshall says, yes, this is very inspiring. Like Andrea Stuckey says, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Like Fred Willis says, he's out there paying attention right now. Dr. Tashika Green is in the house as well. And all of you who are watching, do me a favor. Let's all have a comment just for ourselves. Let's all have an affirmation for ourselves. First, I would like for you that's listening right now, look right below the video and share what is an affirmation you tell yourself or affirmation you share with others in order for them to pick themselves up and keep on going no matter what. And doesn't it come down to that? So just look right below the video and just put your favorite affirmation a saying or thought or idea as you're doing that as a digital note taker you're paying this message forward to someone else this is not for you it's for someone else and then i want you after that i want you to look right below the video stacy moore i want you to look right below the video fred and i and i want you to put down these words and anyone can write these words every single one of you can participate just look right below the video no matter what you're watching if you're a podcaster you just listen in right now you can go back and read the notes if you're on the conference call no problem listen but write these notes i am enough mm. just put i am enough now don't worry about it angel when she come back she's going to talk about jump start for business turning your slow months into your best months it's one of her books so i'm going to ask her hey give me three golden nuggets out those books not now we're going to go we're going to go over to dr connect in just a moment but when we come back don't worry i'm going to ask her the super secret how she went from being on the couch mom stay at home mom to being voted the woman of the year and this whole pr turnaround but first i wanted to step back and say you know what jumpstart for business how to turn your slow months into your best months what is her top three ideas because some of you maybe that's where you are now i see stacy moore put i am enough i see richard uh richard duffy said i am enough tashika green said i am enough loretta put i am enough Andrea Stuckey put, I am enough. As you're watching right now, look below the video and just write these words. I, this is about you. I am enough. Hit the like button. If you're hearing what I'm saying, holla at your boy. Hit the like button. Hit the heart button. When someone says, I am enough, don't leave them out there. We're the happy entrepreneur tribe here, Angel. We believe in loving on each other, supporting each other, being together. It's us together, stronger together than we are for sure. Uh, Jeff K put, I am enough. Cheryl Graham put, I am enough. Nicole Brown Hurston, I see you. I know, we got to go to commercial. says, I am enough. Carrie says, I'm so proud of you and honored that you are my friend and colleague. Your colleague is in the house, by the way, cheering you on. You wanna, would you like to give a shout out to him? Gee whiz, all these shout outs. Golly. <laughs> do, you know, do you know Carrie? I do. <laughs> so what do you know about Carrie? Tell us something in one minute about Carrie. What do I know about Carrie? Carrie is one of the strongest women that I know, bravest women on the planet, and I've known her. I've known her for years. She is probably one of my dearest friends. I can be totally real when I'm around her, and I just love her. I just love her. And Carrie, that's a shout out, Carrie. Thanks a lot for joining us, saying that I am enough. We definitely have to connect. We certainly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Nadine said, I am enough. Martha Lewis said, I am enough. Cheryl said, I am enough. Thank all of you. Look, I got to go. I got to go. Cheryl Diane says, that's my daily mantra. I am what? Enough. I am enough. Yeah, this is your time. This mm -hmm. is your moment. And today, I promise you, today will be your day. With that being said, when we come back, we're going to learn how to jumpstart your business, turning your slow months into your best months. I'm going to ask Angel her three best ideas. It's one of her books. It's on Amazon. She's written several books. And then I'm going to ask her that one question. How did you go from being a stay a, a stay-at-home mom to being voted woman of the year and starting your business right now let's go over to dr connect thigpen her thought of the day focus on progress not perfection we'll be right back hello it's your girl dr connect thigpen also known as dr k founder of rise women's network and rise women's network is pleased to present to you hashtag next sister up today i'm with you in the happy entrepreneurs tribe and guess what it's my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week. Focus on progress, not perfection. Focus on progress, not perfection. Here's the thing. It took me three years, count them, one, two, three years to release my first book. Why? I was focusing on perfection. I would write and rewrite. I would read and reread. I would add stuff in and take stuff out. And I'll never forget, one of my friends had launched his book 
and he had posted it on social media and someone had the nerves to comment on page 36 there's a word that's spelled incorrectly it should be spelled like this and i said mm, that will not be me my book is going to be perfect now how crazy of me to think that my book was going to be perfect but here's what i learned when you focus on perfection it slows you down it slows you down because you're trying to obtain something that doesn't even exist the second thing i learned was when i focus on perfection that there was a lot of negative self-talk that was going on I like to call it mental assault on myself. And the third thing I learned was when I was focusing on perfection, that I was inconsistent, where I would go really hard and then I would stop, and then I would go really hard and then I would stop. But on the other side, when you focus on progress, it motivates you to keep going. Chapter one complete, yes. Chapter two complete, yes. Chapter three complete, yes. It also, when you focus on progress, it allows you to celebrate those small successes, no matter how big or how small. And lastly, when you focus on progress, it allows you to sustain yourself for the long haul so that you can complete the project and start your next one. Remember, shift your focus from perfection to progress. I'm your girl, Dr. K. Make it a great day. Make it a great day. Welcome back. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. My name is Shay Brown, and on the other side, you have none other than Angel. Angel is an award-winning national host, professional speaker. She hosted her own radio show and other broadcasts for over 10 years, over 2,000 episodes, 4,000 guests interviewed. You're at the right place. Here's what I want you all to do. And I see you, Malika. Malika joins. Hey, Shay, I finally made it. I've been watching you on other pages. That's because many of you have shared this out. And I'm going to ask you right now to take this message and pay it for it because we're going to get into right now how to jumpstart for business, turning your slow months into your best months, turning your slow months into your best months. But first, you look right below this video right now and say focus on progress, not perfection. Let me say that again. Let me say that again. That was from Dr. Connect. That was the thought of the week. Focus on progress, not perfection. Perfection. You see, there's a time for completion and there's a time for perfection. And I know I'm guilty of that, by the way. I can't tell you how many times I've started writing in my journal. I know I've been telling the story now for six months. Don't worry. Life is a series of being on track and off track, right? <laughs> I, got, I got this app called the Five Minute Journal that I just love, by the way. But then sometimes I want to take just the right picture to put in there for the day. Or I get caught up in, this is what I'm grateful for. No, no. It was this morning. No, it was this afternoon. And I just overcomplicate the stupid thing. Whenever I just write with the first thing that pops into my mind, when I go back and read it six months later or three months later, I'm forever grateful I even put a freaking picture in there. And so I gotta, <laughs> I'm taking what Kinnett said to heart. Um, when you heard her talk, um, what's, what's an area maybe that folks procrastinate a little bit on that did you find yourself, Angel, shifting on? And then we're gonna jump right into turning your slow months into your best months. I see you, Tashika said, focus on progress, not completion. What's one thing that comes to your mind? Well, I often say done is better than none or done is better than perfect Yeah. because I think we can get all wrapped up and it's got to be perfect. It's got to be all buttoned up. And I think as entrepreneurs, we run circles around, around folks, right? Because we are getting, we're so busy, we're so motivated, we're so excited. And so it doesn't even matter if it's perfect, nothing's perfect. And there's no such thing as the is the perfect pitch, is the perfect interview, is the perfect post. Let's just go out there and make a difference and and not worry, not worry about it being perfect. I grew up with a lot of perfectionism. Mm -hmm. My dad was Navy, he was military, and you know, we had things very, very buttoned up. And so it is very freeing when you when you can finally release that. I'm not I I'm still working on it in a lot of areas, but that's my mantra. And I say it to others mostly so I can say it to myself. Yeah, yeah. How, how true is that? And we've all been there. D. Bowden, what's up, D. Bowden? Thanks for joining. Jeff Cade said, focus on progress and not perfection. How true is that? Thank you for joining. Cheryl Brennan says, go, Angel, go. She's out there listening. want to let you know to go. This is your time. Nadine Dillon says she's in the house. Stephanie Marshall, we see you focus on progress, not perfection. Every time y'all make a comment, every time you make a note, I appreciate it. Angel appreciated this show is not about Angel. It's not about me. It's about us empowering, inspiring, and providing the resources so that entrepreneurs can live a well-balanced life and serve the people they were called to serve by having all the resources. So Angel 
bought resources day to help you in the area of media to grow your business. One of the things that we say is that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. Let me say that again. Let me say that one more time so y'all can hear that. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So oftentimes we have the resources that we need to develop at the time that we are right now. So Angel is here to develop those resources. So <laughs> let me ask her to go ahead and share just three ideas to turn your slow months into your best months. And then we're going to get into some media stuff. We're going to get into some PR stuff. And for folks that are out there right now, um, before she does that, you can hear Angel. And you can see Angel, which is pretty cool, right? Technology works. <laughs> But here's what I know that I know that I know is that Angel can't see you and Angel can't hear you. So, Angel, is it OK since we're talking media and you're going to get into media? Is it OK if they spotlight their business? Can they can they spotlight their business below the video and share what they do? Would you be OK with that? I know that's free advertising, but I'm OK with that. Are you OK with that? It's your platform. And absolutely. Like, Whatever, Shay. Yeah, this sounds cool. <laughs> so so. <laughs> What's up, Cheryl Wallace? Thanks for joining. We love you. We appreciate every single one of you. Here's what I want to do. I want to give you a chance to spotlight your business. And I love doing this when we can do it in a segment. You're going to take a minute or two, and you're going to look right below the video. And I want you to write these words. I help people dot, dot, dot. So tell us how you help people. Or I help businesses dot, dot, dot. So some of you are going to write, I help people transform their lives by understanding how to shift their mindset. I don't know what it is. Some of you are going to write, I help businesses improve their marketing by doing it more online. Some of you are going to write, I help people dot, dot, dot. And some of you are going to write, I help businesses dot, dot, dot. Now, Angel's giving permission for you to share your website as well. Or if you don't like your website, most, most folks hate their website. I haven't met one person yet that says, I love my website, unless they just got it done right. But, but you have a Facebook page. You have an inst Why don't we all put our Instagram page down? That's, that sounds fun. So you first put your business. Now, we're going to talk about media. We're going to talk about how to expose your business. Angel's going to get into that. But right now, it's all about you. Now, why do I want you to write, I help people dot, 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 or I help businesses dot, dot, dot? You do it right now. We're going to acknowledge you is that this is not a time to talk about how many letters you have behind your name. We don't care about that. We don't care about your celebrity clients. We don't care about that. We don't care about how many years you've been in business. We don't care. What we care about is how do you help people solve a problem? Because I'm sure you got in business to have more meaning in the world. You got in business to have more impact in someone's life. You got in business to make a dollar and a difference at the same time. And you can do that. So how do you do that? How do we acknowledge you? How do we connect you with someone else? Because someone right now has the goal of finding you. So you look right below the video and go ahead and write the words right now. I help businesses dot, dot, dot. And then as soon as you do that, you write, or I help people dot, dot, dot. And then put your website, put your Instagram handle. I don't know. Put your Facebook business page and put that right now. And then we're going to acknowledge you right here on the show. That's what we're going to do. All right. Um, is they're doing that right now, Angel, Tussie, not like fussy, but Tussie, <laughs> as we do that, you're going to give three ideas. Um, I know you don't have, I know you're probably not on the page right now. Some of you are over at happyentrepreneurshow.com. Some of you are watching other places, but I'm reading the comments at happyentrepreneurshow.com. That's where I'm reading the pages. Um, do you have it up on your screen, uh, Angel, or no? All I right. do, I do. Can, can you see the comments from Stephen Marshall? Can you read what uh, Stephanie Marshall does? Can you read what Richard Duffy does? Can you see those comments? I can. All right, yes. let's, let's, let's go and now let some entrepreneurs. Let's talk about how they're helping people. So go ahead and read them. Read, read Richard's and then Dorsey's. And then okay, so Richard, Richard Duffy says, I help people to realize their greatness, to tap into their infinite potential. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. That is pretty cool. Okay. Um, Dorsey, she says, I'm the founder of the Healthy, Happy, Fun Life Academy, coming soon. <laughs> like Helping that. people live the life of their dreams through creating healthy, happy, fun lifestyle habits that become habitual. And her Instagram is Dorsey Hill. So thanks for sharing that. Now, how about Richard? Did Richard put his Instagram down? Oh, uh, you know what? I no, don't, I don't see his Richard. Okay, okay. It. Look, 
put your Instagram down. We're going you put Instagram forward slash whatever it is. Okay, and then you're gonna connect. Okay. And then I'll read Stephanie's and then you read after Dorsey. Stephanie put I help women build their confidence through fashion accessories. Ww.manature jewels. Oh, M-A-N-A-T-U-R-E-G-E-W-L-S dot com. Okay, I did the best I could. All right, take it away, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tashi, uh, Tashi, what is it, Tashika Green? Yes. Mm-hmm. I provide personal, professional, and oh, look, it's moving and uh, well, it's leadership moving development to help them leverage their talent, skills, and strengthen to maximize their greatest potential. She's at two. Oh shoot, it disappeared. It okay. went too fast. Okay, that's fine. Read the, read the next one. Now we're gonna we're gonna take a two minute segment. Don't worry. Angel has not forgotten. Angel, you got to give him three ideas later. Don't forget, as soon as we finish this, you got to give him three ideas. I'll do something but turn slow months into best months, and we got to get to the PR. But let's acknowledge all of our entrepreneurs, and Angel will put her Instagram handle out there as well later so y'all can connect with her on Instagram. All right, read, I'll read someone else, and you catch up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back, and I'll read Cheryl. Cheryl Diane said, I help women walk in their God-given purpose without apology. Cheryl's always on here. Thank you so much. At Up Level Woman. Connect with her on Instagram. Uh, Nicole says, make a dollar and a difference. Gotcha. Fred Willis says, I help people understand the power of their purpose. Fred, we need your website. We need your Instagram handle. Don't get left out. Y'all make sure y'all connect with somebody. Hit the heart button. Somebody Somebody hit the like button when somebody makes their comments. Andrea Stuckey said, I help women rebuild, redefine, and liberate their lives after divorce. IG, at Divorce underscore coach now that's easy i can holler okay take one away go right ahead nicole brown says i help others soar with help hope and healing by telling their stories their way her website getinstep.com and then cheryl brenner we help entrepreneurs to become even more successful by giving them the tools they are missing in their toolbox contacts content grows cash for their business ipowerteam.biz Oh, it's Ma Nature Jewel, says Stephanie. So she had to, yeah, we're like Ma Monature, like, oh, like, okay. yeah, Ma Nature Jewels. Isn't that funny when you like, we did a whole segment one time on the radio of of URLs when you start bunching words together in a, in a website name, uh-huh. how they become new words when you start putting them, start putting them together. Gotcha. Um, yeah, Daryl Stern says, I believe that marketing is theater and that you are a gift to the world and the world needs your gifts. Sign up for a <laughs> sign up for my mastermind, his mastermind marketing, Daryl Stern. Thanks so much, Daryl. It's good to see you. Daryl and I used to do a um, positive, a positive, like, a, like the optimist show or, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. Do you remember what we called it? It was, it was years ago. Um, but we did a we did a weekly show together on being more positive and optimistic. Oh, that's cool. That, that is awesome. For everyone's putting right now, what we're doing is everyone's putting the name, how they help people in the world, how they help them show up. So you're writing, I help people dot, 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 or I help businesses dot, dot, dot. So I help people dot, 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 or I help businesses dot, dot, dot. So people can know what you're doing. They can connect. You're also putting your Instagram handle down. She's giving us permission to do that. Don't worry. She has not forgotten. You got a slow how to turn your business. I mean, jumpstart for your business. Turn your slow months into your best month. She's going to pull that out. We come back. Look, she's going to do a quick segment on three quick tips. You better have your pen, your paper. Hit the share button. What's up, Janetta Collar? Thanks for joining. And then we're going to get into the media stuff. We got sidetracked. But I wanted to recognize the entrepreneurs, and she's giving me some leeway to do that. Angel. What do, you, what do you say to everyone out there that's making comments below and writing down what they do? Why should they do it? And why is it important to promote what they're doing right now so they can connect with someone else out there? Well, first of all, thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate that. But where you go, your brand follows. And we're all about creating exposure, lifting people up. Nobody, we don't want anybody to be the world's best kept secret. So start by you know lighting that spark for yourself and share right here so we can share you. I like that. I like that. Share right here so we can share you. Someone someone write that down. <laughs> you know, Angel, I'm going to say that tomorrow. Share right here so we can share you. I like that. That's, that's really good. That's really good. Thank you all for joining Sterl. Thank you, Cheryl Wallace. I see you. Thank everyone that's out there. All right. We got to get into three tips, and then we got to help them out. We got to help them out. Before we do that, we're going to take a quick segment i'm gonna go over to dorsey hill dorsey hill is talking about boundaries and then we come back as soon as we come back 
Angel's gonna jump right into the three tips. And then after that, we got a PR. You got you gotta understand this whole PR thing. And then the number one secret that she did is go from a stay-at-home mom to a woman of the year and being a full-time entrepreneur. Um, it's amazing. It's incredible. I promise you don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. Let's go over to Dorsey Hill. We'll be right back in just a moment. What's up, LaShonda? Thanks for joining. It's always a pleasure. I love y'all when y'all show up. Hello, hi, howdy. I am Dorsey Hill. My company is Dorsey Hill Global, and I'm the founder of the Healthy, Happy, Fun Life Academy Mastermind and Network. And today is my January one. Yay! And I'm super excited to be here with the fantabulous Happy Entrepreneur Tribe to share my thought of the week on boundaries. And I'm going to start with the sentence, no. Yes, I said sentence because no is a complete sentence. And too many times as entrepreneurs, we say yes to all the things. When in reality, we are not serving ourselves best by saying yes to all the things when we should be saying no so that we can say yes to the things that are most important to move the needle for us in our business. And guys, no is really so simple. It doesn't take much to get used to it. And it means nothing about us when we say no, except that we have learned to set boundaries in place to say, I have things to do. I have my mission. I have a plan for this world. And I can't make that happen and be who I need to be when I'm saying yes to all of the things. Saying no really does open the doors to all the yes opportunities that are just waiting in line for you. And one of the things I love to ask people is, what do you not understand about the word no? Is it the N, the O, or the space in between? You're just not understanding because no means no. And it's a complete sentence and it's okay to say it and be comfortable with it. Well, I hope you guys have a fabulous week and my wish for each and every one of you is that you're healthy, happy, and have a ton of fun in this life that you're living. Big Texas love and hugs to each and every one of you. Bye for now. Big Texas love. Let's, let's give a shout out to Big Texas love to none other than Dorsey. Everyone do me a favor. We're going in. Look right below the video. You're here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, but you got to write this down. Dorsey just rocked it. I love that. Healthy happy fun life ha <laughs> ha that is great someone do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video we're going to get into it right now of course how to grow your business and then we'll get into the abc's exposure media publishing and speaking but first you look right below the video and put healthy happy fun life healthy happy fun life we're going to say no to everything else health uh, healthy Happy, fun life. Hey, do me a do, do me a favor. Um, re repeat after me if you would, Angel. This is kind of cool. Healthy, happy, fun life. Healthy, happy, fun life. All right, that's pretty good. We're gonna try it again, Dorsey. This is for you because it is all about being healthy. It is all about being happy. It is all about having fun, and it is all about what your life. So let's try it again. Healthy, happy, fun life. Healthy, happy, fun life. <laughs> Now, when you hear healthy, happy, fun life, the big love we got from Texas, from none other than Dorsey, what comes to your mind? You got to get to the media. I promise you guys, we're in for a great episode. But when you hear those words, healthy, happy, fun, life, what, what resonates with you? What, what, how do you feel when you hear those words and what resonates with you? I think it just lights my cells up, like get all juicy from the inside, right? And so... And, and it's true when you when you smile more, right? I think I think if you're healthy and happy and having that fun life, you are smiling more because you you are happier. And there's something physically it, that internally changes the physiology of your body when you smile. And you can create and start, even if you don't feel like your life is that healthy, happy, fun life yet, maybe there are pieces, you can start to almost manufacture that from the inside out. There's mm. actual science that proves when you smile and you laugh, you start to create all of that. We think it's like something external, things that are happening to us, right? That, you know, the world is all, you know, 
roses and rainbows and unicorns, but right. but really it comes from the inside and it, it comes from something internal, not external. And you can start to really change your physiology just by smiling and laughing. I, I, when I heard Did you those know words, that? I just started smiling too. I mean, I'm looking below and, and Tanya Prickett says, healthy, happy, fun life. And I just put a smile on my face, by the way. Stephanie Marshall said, healthy, happy, fun life. Um, I'm seeing it. Jacqueline Taylor Adams said, healthy, happy, fun life. Fred Willis said, happy, healthy, fun life. Loretta said, happy, healthy, fun life. So Sheena said, happy, healthy, fun life. Andrea says, happy, healthy, fun fun life. When you say that, you're not just saying it for yourself. What's up, Kathy Anderson? You're not just saying it for yourself. You're saying it for someone else. Someone hit the heart button. Someone hit the like button. We are going to have a happy, a healthy, happy, fun time <laughs> on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. All right, I got to get serious. I got to get down to business. I know y'all want to make some money. I know you want to make a dollar and a difference, but is it okay to be happy? Can I just be happy for a moment? Okay, that's my time. Angel. <laughs> I lost my mind, but I couldn't help it. I just... I just I just got those vibes. Um, do me a favor. Take a moment and frame the conversation in the time we have. Uh, the book that you wrote, and I know this conversation is not just about this book because we got to get to the media, but I got a chance to see the book, have the book. It's upstairs. I should go get it. But And, and you shared it when I was there at the conference, at the uh, speaker, uh, speaker, at the uh, sponsorship boot camp with none other than Roberta Calera. Right. I have that book right there, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a game changer. It's not about the book. You can go get it on Amazon. You can get it. It's not. It's about the content. So I've asked her to pull out and share these three golden nuggets to help you turn your slow months into your best months. And if you're watching right now and you're ready to turn your slow months into your best months, just look right below the video and put it's my time. Mm -hmm. It's my time. Now, we're going to get into the media and all of the exposure but first, if it's just your time to turn your slow months into a better months, then right below the video, it's all about you now, baby. It's my time. Today is your day. It's my time. Just look right below the video and just claim that it's my time. And that's okay. Because in order for you to deliver the vision to the people you were called to serve, it's going to take resources. It's going to take people. It's going to take money. It's going to take marketing. It's going to take technology. And the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So we're going to develop your resources in your business right now so you can make a dollar. And you know our mantra. Our mantra at the Happy Entrepreneur Show is the results that show up in your life mm -hmm. are just as important as a result to show up in your bank account. Let me say that again, and Angel's gonna take it after this, and when I finish, I'm gonna turn it right over to her to give you these three golden nuggets. But the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So we believe that you can make a dollar and a difference at the same time. And now Angel's gonna help you do that. As Nadine put, it's my time. Malika Courtney put, it's my time. Julia put, it's my time. Stephanie put, it's my time. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your day. And now I'm going to turn it over to Angel for just a few minutes here. And then we got to get to some media stuff. We're just getting going. Angel, over to you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast. I love watching all of the comments come and scroll through over on the Happy, uh, Hantry, Happy Entrepreneur Show on the Facebook group. Well, as Shay is talking about, this is book number nine. This was my ninth published book called Jumpstart for Business, How to Turn Your Slowest Months into Your Best Months. And it talks a lot about just that that roller coaster that entrepreneurs go through, right? Where we're super busy, right? And we're we're taking care of clients and we're serving our clients and we're making money and we tend to stop marketing when we're really busy and successful and then we serve those clients and then we hit this little valley where we've got to go out and create a bunch of exposure and a bunch of marketing and publicity and PR so that we can get those clients back in the funnel and fill our bank account again and it's this peaks and valleys. And so the book is really designed on how do you have you know, kind of a little bit more stable of peaks, you know, not so deep valleys. Um, and so if you've got slow months, if your business is seasonal, this is how you market all year long, not just 
not just when you're slow. And one of the best things to know about Jumpstart for Business, it is my ninth book that I published. And um, it's also the quickest book that we ever published. I teach my clients how to get their books published within 90 days because leveraging a book is an easy way to create media, publicity, and PR. But this book, um, teaching what I call CPP, copy, paste, and publish method, we actually published it in start to finish in just three three days. So that's kind of what makes this one pretty special as well. Wow. I, I love it. I love it. And what's what's one of the golden nuggets out of there? Just give me one more golden nugget. 90, 90 day marketing campaigns. So okay. running running quarterly marketing campaigns that keep your keep your brand fresh, something exciting, something new, a reason to get re you know, re-engage with your clients and your followers. And so so doing 90 day marketing campaigns and including in that events and podcasts and uh, relationship marketing as well. I love it. I love it. Can you give us just one example of that? Just, just one quick example. You said 90 day campaigns. One, the relevance of 90 days versus 120 days. And then, you know, what happens when you have to make a shift in that 90 days? And I want you all to be thinking right now as you're watching, as you're listening, what is your 90 day campaign? So We're the coming reason- up to a very important part of the year for a number of us. They're going into yeah. that quarter and it's going to be very important to, to have a 90 day campaign. So I'm just asking to break this thing down one more level. You got you need a 90 day campaign. You yeah. understand it has to be a number of different things in there. Now I'm asking her, why is 90 day a significant number? And maybe it's the number she decided. And number two, do you have time in 90 days to make a shift? And if so, why? And that's very important because some of you are going to make that decision. And for where we are in the year right now. The next 90 days is very critical. For some folks, this is the most important part of the year coming up. And, and it just, this is the push. Of course, I say that every quarter, right? But it is truly the push. So don't just say, oh, 90 days, I get that. No. I want you to think, what is your 90 day plan? I want you to think, what's the, why is it important? And then what's the shift? So I'm going to turn it over to Angel right now. If you don't have the books, she's going to tell you we can get the books. Don't worry, she got 10 of them. We're going to get to that. We're gonna, we got to get to media as well. All right, Angel, talk a little bit about that 90 day plan. Because I'm going to tell you, if you don't have one right now, this is a very serious conversation. If you don't have a 90-day plan, I'm not saying, here's what I'm going to do. Here's my goal for my business. No. 90-day laser focus special project. Mm. What is that? All right. Turn it over to Angel. Take it away. So often, I, I would be at a networking event or I'd meet an entrepreneur. And if you ask somebody, what's new? What's going on? Their business is pretty, pretty steady as far as what they say they do. They, they do the, you know, they've got their 30 second tagline, you know, what's going on? Here's my website. Here's my, like, it's pretty steady. And so it's hard to get excited about, and especially if you're networking and you're talking to the same group of people, like they already know what you do. They already know what you're about. And, and so what's new and exciting. So let's just say you Shay, for example, right? Every day or every, you bring on a new, a new guest. Yes. So even though it's not a 90 day campaign, the same formula is there. You put up new branding, you put up new pictures, mm -hmm. you've got new taglines, you're saying this is coming, now this is what we're doing, and then this is what we did. In that same, in that same formula of using the 90 day formula, 30 days of this is what we're going to do, mm -hmm. this is what we're doing, this is what we did. And you can use that same that same example. So you're always you're always rolling over with something new and exciting to talk about with the with your prospects, with your leads, people that are your fans. If you don't give them something to talk about, put something top of mind, tip of tongue, then it's it 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 gets lost and they forget they forget that you're even in business. So if you if you bundle down and you break down a 90 day campaign. For entrepreneurs, we kind of have ADD, right? We, we always want that new shiny and to be talking about the new shiny. So this allows your entire marketing team, your entire sales team, um, and your branding team, right? All to, to be on board and give them time to talk about. You can change your voicemails. You can change your, your um, banners. You can create flyers. This is what you're talking about at networking events and on your social media pages. It just It just puts a little... I don't know. I mean, if you were to think about think about a personal relationship, you know, we, we go on dates or we do fun things or we celebrate holidays and we celebrate something funny. It keeps the it keeps the juiciness in the relationship. 
Well, same with our customer to, you know, our, our vendor to customer relationship. We have to keep that excitement level in that relationship as well. And so switching over, you, it's not changing your entire brand. It's mm-hmm. just what you're marketing, what you're talking about. And marketing is the art of starting a conversation. And so having something new to start that conversation as a real reason to send out some emails, like new email marketing campaign, a reason to, you know, to have a series of Facebook live videos that you're doing, because we tend to kind of get tired and, okay, what do I talk about now? So that's the reason for the 90 day marketing campaigns. And they could be an event that you're hosting, Mm -hmm. maybe a webinar. If you are the guest on somebody else's podcast, if you are starting a podcast, if you're publishing a book, I mean, think about any milestone that is going on in your business could be something you celebrate. You could do a press release around it. You could do a home media and PR publicity. It could be a sales marketing campaign of something that's on sale or a new product or um, uh, something new on your website. Maybe you've got a brand new a brand new you know, website that you've put together. I mean, think about anything that's on your to-do list. Look at your calendar. Look at what's on your to-do list that you were doing, but you weren't leveraging the power of marketing and PR to talk about it. We've got to create the buzz. We've got to create the excitement because if we don't, then then somebody else will. I love it. If we don't, someone else will. You're here watching Happy Entrepreneur Show. You got Eric Swanson in the house. You're bringing out the all-stars, by the way. Eric Swanson says... Angel Tussie is absolutely amazing, awesome speaker. He's giving you a big shout out out there, by the way. Jacqueline Taylor says, our campaigns for this quarter should get started coming up. Thanks a lot for joining. And that is the importance. And I wanted her to watch that because if you get caught up in all the media, I want you to know that you still got to have a campaign going behind the scenes to actually support the media attention that you're going to be getting. And I know it's one thing to intellectually know to do something. It's another thing to actually do it. Look, when we come back, yeah, we're going to learn the number one secret she did being a single mom, getting off the couch, and being a woman of the year, and at the exact same time, check this out, the exact same time, being a full-time entrepreneur, how does she actually get into doing media personality, or or being in the media, but more importantly, 4,000 shows, I mean, 2,000 shows, 4,000 interviews, the guests she's interviewed, you don't want to miss that. When we come back next segment, we're going to get into the ABCs of exposure, another one of her books. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Just give us three ideas. Just give us three ideas. Just give us three ideas. You're getting a lot in a short amount of time, but I know for some of you, this is exactly what you need for where you are. Look, if Angel is doing a good job, do me a favor. Look right below the veil. Let's give her a warm welcome. Let's give her a digital applause. Now, how do you give a digital applause to someone that's taking time for her husband, who I think biked 50 miles today, right? Uh, (laughs) Taking time from her business right now, who travels all over the country speaking at the small business and speaking at other locations as well and outside the country. Look right below the video and do me a favor. Do me a favor. Write these words. Angel, you're awesome. Put thank you. Angel, put Angel great content. Don't worry, I'm gonna ask her. She's gonna come back with the ABCs of exposure, media, publishing, and speaking. So I'm gonna ask her to give us a golden nugget around media, a golden nugget around publishing, and a golden nugget around speaking. Look right below the video and just say, Angel, we appreciate you. Angel, you're awesome. Angel, this is great content. Angel, this is helping me. Angel, thanks for showing up. Just put Angel, we appreciate you. And that's a digital applause because Angel didn't ask me for a cash app payment before we got started. She didn't ask me for a wire transfer payment. She said, Shay, I showed up to serve because she understands in the giver's economy, the person that outgives the competition outearns the competition. Let me say that again. The giver's economy, the person outgives the competition outearns the competition. Jacqueline start off by saying, clap, clap, clap. You're doing a great job, by the way. Fred Willis says, thank you, Angel. That was awesome. The best, ain't even, we ain't even got started. Just I, I, I got carried away. The best is yet to come, I promise you. Uh, Andrea Stuckley says, thank you, Angel. Stacey Moore says, she's been in, she's been to Shy, and she's awesome. Shy town in the house, they represent you. She must have seen you someplace, somewhere. Jacqueline Fulton said, Angel, this is awesome. You are incredible. Dorsey said, Angel, you are awesome, saucy. Healthy, happy, fun life. Ha <laughs> ha, I still got that jingle in my head. Uh, Richard Duffy said, well, this Angel, we appreciate you. Thanks so much. Malika's saying, great job. They're out there watching. They're out there listening. They're out there giving appreciation. Alinda Reese is in the house. What's up, Alinda Reese? 
She says, shout out to you, shout out to you. She's giving you much love, much love. Now, when we come back, we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back. ABCs of exposure. Get your paper, get your pen, get ready for media, publishing, and speaking. Media, publishing, and speaking. What's up, Nadine? Said, thank you, Angel. She appreciates you. All right, let's go. And let me tell you what's coming up over the next 90 days. It's going to be amazing. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm super excited. I'm over the moon, just enjoyed to be able to share this special VIP invitation for you to join me at the closeconference.com. Just look right below the video, look right below the video and go to close conference.com an opportunity for you to attend virtually or in person now who is this for if you're an entrepreneur if you're a speaker if you're a coach if you're a network marketer if you're in the personal professional development or you're just someone right now that is overwhelmed and overworked and you need to generate some qualified leads of people who want to work with you whether they come from online leads or offline leads then you need to be there or maybe you're someone that wants to you know you say well Shay Right now, I have what's called yo-yo entrepreneur type of revenue, right? I have reasons, but no results. So it's time for you really to put together your own seven-figure revenue-generating infrastructure so you can make more money without your labor, you can take back your time, and you can take back your life, then you want to be there. Or maybe you just want to be able to broadcast, just like I'm doing right now. I'm at Broadcastpreneur Studios right here in this set right now, and you need to reach your audience online through the power of those fiber optic lines, then you need to be at what? TheClosedConference.com. Or maybe it's just time for you to get all the resources you need in your business so you can serve the people you were called to serve and have more meaning in the world, have more impact in the world, and make a dollar and a difference at the same time. If that's you, look right below the video, look right below the video, and go to closeconference.com. I promise you, you'll learn about how to generate unlimited sponsorships. You'll learn about how to tell your story and have more impact. And more importantly, more importantly, you're going to have more success more joy and more happiness in your business. I'm so excited. Look, join me at closedconference.com. Share this with all your friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you. My promise to you is it'll be a good use of your time. My promise to you is that you're going to generate more revenue than you've ever generated before in your life and have more happiness. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you success. See you soon. See you soon. Looking forward to connecting with many of you over at the Close Conference. It's one of our campaigns over the next 90 days with an appropriate lead and with an appropriate statement. It's going to be truly amazing. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. My name is Shea Brown, the host, and you have none other than the one, the only, the fabulous one over there, the, the media expert herself, the person who's written 10 books, get it, 10 books, the person who has had an opportunity to do this for more than 15 years, and totally incredible, a person who's also been a radio host, by the way, hosting over 10,000 episodes, interviewing over 4,000 guests, yes, that's her, and the person went from a stay-at-home mom on the couch, I'll say that, to now having her own business all the time, full-time, living her dream, and out there making a big difference in the world, and now she's committed to do one thing and one thing only, and how to teach and share the ABCs of exposure, media, publishing, and what? Speaking. So, Angel, ha <laughs> ha! Now, do you have a copy of this book? Do you have every one of your books over there? Okay, let's go ahead and give her a plug on the book. Everyone go over to Amazon. Well, she's going to give you the site to go to, but she might not want you to go to Amazon. She might have a different site. So, there she goes. She got them all. Shay, I didn't know what the gender was. Shay, I didn't have no run sheet. So I just showed up with all my books. If you ask me a question about my book, it's there. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't even talk about books before we got in there. I was going to tell you all this, but I, I know the power of what she's written. I've read the book myself. I follow her. She's the real deal. And she's someone that has a big heart. And that's what I admire most about her is that it's the heart to give. It's the heart to serve. It's the heart to make a difference. And that was one of her missions, which she'll tell you about herself in a moment when she had her had a radio program in, in her company it's really to serve and help other entrepreneurs and other speakers and other coaches and other network marketers and and she's walking in her purpose sometimes you do something because you want to make the money and sometimes you do it because it's your life work and so when you hear her speak right now she's inside of her life work and boy what a difference that makes so angel 
Um, mm-hmm. Now it's time for you to talk about the ABCs. Take it away. ABCs. All right. ABCs. So this is actually book number 11 that, um, and it's most recent one. It just came out this earlier this year, 2019. I didn't publish anything in in 2018. I was busy redefining and rebranding and starting all over after retiring from radio and um, ended up being a public speaker doing the Small Business Expos, the Best You Expo in London, and lots of different conferences all over all over this last year. And it's been a it's been a whirlwind of of a career change for me. But I stayed in my lane. So the reason why I think that it's been such a fun a fun shift for me is I stayed doing what I absolutely love doing, and that's helping small business owners and entrepreneurs create media and marketing campaigns, create more exposure, fill their funnel, attract more leads, monetize their media. And I and so I was doing that on radio. I still get to do that. I still get to do that. Uh, but just now I do it in a different venue as a public speaker. Um, and I get to see people's faces, which is different than sitting inside of a radio studio doing that. But the ABCs of Exposure, this was a unique, this is a and unique book. I see your book. face too, by the way. Hey, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Right, right. So this picture, the picture on the cover of ABCs was actually taken in London. It was my first international speaking event, and this was this was taken, um, yeah, at, in London about almost exactly one year after being like a, a um, of my radio show. So it was a big transition year, and so this is a real this one's real personal to me in in why this book and how this book ended up coming about. But it's unique in that it doesn't have chapters. It's an alphabetical list of everything that you need to know when it comes to media, publishing, and speaking, leveraging what I call OPP, other people's platforms, to create more exposure for your brand. And it's just, I made a, a, a list and put them in alphabetical order and then just tips and stories and hacks and tricks of everything that you need to know. And it's only, it's oh, about 125 pages. So it's a quick airplane read or just a quick reference, you can keep it keep it on your desk when you're trying to come up with, okay, what do I do, how do I do, what do I do next, how do I create that sales funnel, how do I leverage being a published author, how do I leverage my story into something the media would want to feature, how, you know, how do I put it together, it's all it's all in one super, so, so super quick and easy read. So if we would ask you to, to open the book up, and you would do a sneak preview, and then you can't do it, but Pick one or two or three from there to say, okay, pick any letter, just a random letter. And when you look at it, just say, this is letter R or whatever letter you have, and this is the title. And just give us just, just a quick overview. I know I don't want to give away the book, obviously, but take one or two points out of there that, that you want to share with the audience. And the, the reason I'm asking to do this, everyone, is that it's an opportunity for every single you per, people watching right now to be inside of her brain, right? To be inside of her head. You, you're all going to, you're going to go read the book, but what I want you to focus on right now is I want you to focus on her perspective. Okay. Mm. And so she's giving it to you the best she can in the fresh book. And this is important. Yeah. We're going to get, don't worry. We're going to get to the media stuff in just a moment, how she got into media and what she learned. But Malika said, pick up ABCs uh, for success. Um, Okay, they asked me where where should they go to get the book? You want them to go to Amazon? Is there a site that you, your books and stuff that you want them to go to? Um, where can you go so you can let them know now? As they're all asking me, where do I get these where books? Where's the best place you want them to get the book? You know, I would love it if they went to Amazon and you can Google my name or you know put Angel's name in the search bar in Amazon, Angel Tussie, and my author page will come up. And you'll see all the books that I've been featured in, all the books that I'm published, and you'll be able to get Jumpstart for Business and ABCs, um, ABCs of Exposure, all all in one stop shop. And if you're Amazon Prime, they'll ship it to you, and you get it free shipping. Cool. So you can go to www.amazon.com, type in her name, Angel T U C C Y, Tussie, Angel yeah. Tussie. Angel Tussie, and you can go do that right now. You can get the books. That's where she recommended you go get the book. Don't worry. I'm going to ask her for the two letters. She Don't worry. She's looking through the book right now, right? She said, okay, Shay, I got to give two letters. What are the two letters we're going to get out of here? Let's find out what letter number one is, and then we get back 
when she finished this, we're going to get into how she got into media, the lessons that she learned that you can use so you can expose your business. All right. Um, as you're searching through the book, let me know when you find one that you want to do. She's like, Shay, you put me on the spot. Welcome. To I know. There is, there's show. a lot here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the letter A. Okay, go right ahead. She's starting start with, the, with letter the letter A at the very beginning of the book. What's up, Marella from Australia? See, in Australia, they're just getting started. It's like, I think it's like uh, afternoon for them as well. See? <laughs> anyway, take it away, Angel. All right, so this is an excerpt from ABCs of Exposure. All I just took a bunch of words that fit anywhere in media, publishing, speaking, on helping you create more exposure. And the first one is is articles, the the letter A for articles. And the reason, I mean, one, it, it starts with the letter A, but this was also one of the very first ways that I started getting media exposure when I was, you know, kind of all starting out. Right? There are thousands of online sites looking for contributions. Your blogs, your articles, and your intellectual property are highly coveted pieces of I information. Don't underestimate the power of printed magazines either. They're making a comeback, actually. I've had countless articles featured in local and national magazines. I've had countless clients have started also with getting their brand out into magazines. And if you have never been interviewed in front of a camera or a live, a live audience or a little nervous about that, submitting an article gives you lots of exposure and credibility without having to speak in public. And then I give a story about one of my clients, how she ended up on the cover of a trade magazine. Ooh, y'all got to get the book to know how she got on the cover of a trade magazine. That was cool. That was cool. Okay, so number one was articles. What's up, uh, Janetta Brown? Thanks for joining. Okay, first one was articles. Like it. And what's one more letter you have in there that you'd like to share? Um, the letter I. Letter I. Okay. What is the letter I? Interviews. Interviews. Okay. Talk to Since you've done and conducted 4,000 plus interviews, by the way, um, I'm curious on what you got to say about this because some people get nervous, not just conducting interviews, but getting interviewed as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what you got to say about this. So, um. I have. I've, yeah, interviews Interviews are the best way to talk about you and your brand. And the reason is somebody's usually asking you a question to say, tell me about your accolades. Tell me about your story. And it's giving you permission to tell your story versus if we're just online and we're just sharing, it feels like bragging. And it feels a, it feels a little awkward to just talk about ourselves. In an interview, somebody's asking you, about your story and you're just answering questions and so what i say in here is that most interviews have a time constraint shay our show we did an eight minute increment so every mm -hmm. eight to ten minutes we were going to a commercial break we had eight guests over the two hour period so there was a there was a lot of time constraint it could be as little as five minutes but regardless you'll need to prepare your answers in advance so this is like, so this is like a so this is like a marathon for you huh it, yeah, I mean, I would do two hours, but my guests wouldn't. I know, I'm just being um, funny. <laughs> right? Um, many, um, uh, many interviewers m ask you to submit your questions in advance. So a lot of times you'll know what the questions are mm. if, if that happens. But the best answers are in sound bites. So a sound bite's a quick phrase, a quote, a rhyme, or a tagline that is memorable and sticky. And the best reasons to use a quote or a soundbite in a media interview are one, it helps you to answer your questions quickly. Two, it makes you appear to be a prepared guest. But most importantly, and this, this is like the piece de resistance, right? That most people don't even realize why you would speak in a soundbite, why you would have a quote or a rhyme. And it is because of this. Um, it sets up the audience to take notes. So by setting up the audience to take notes means they've got their pen in hand or their note taker in hand. So it's already in their hand when the when the host asks for your contact information, they are not scrambling to look for a pen or a paper to write it down and asking you to repeat it 20 times. They've got their pen in hand because they've been taking notes. So when you give your contact information, the audience is ready. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. You gave away the secrets. You gave away the bonus. And what would be one note that you'd want folks to take away just from this segment alone is they're doing something great in their business for everyone that's watching, right? You gave two letters. And if you had to say, okay, this is my takeaway. This is something I want you to write down. What would you ask the audience to write down so they can implement? And again, I'm going to encourage all of you, like Jessica O'Neill, who just joined, and many of you who are watching right now, Thank you, Nicole Brown Hurston. Put A for articles, I for interviews. That is so true. Don't mm -hmm. worry. When we come back to the next segment. I'm going to ask her, how do you get interviewed? How do you prepare? Um, how do you get exposure for your company? Don't worry. I'm going to get into that on the next segment. But now I'm going to ask her to give you the takeaway. Dorsey said, I just got it on Kendo. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We get it. We get it. Holla, holla. Um, what's something you want the audience to write down? Um, something I want them to write down is is – you know, even to create your own, create your own takeaway, create your own sound bites and your own, your own, um, you know, taglines and phrases. And you'll, you'll notice that those, those little buzzwords and Shay, you do this all through it, right? You're telling them, write this down, say this phrase, mm -hmm. I am enough, happy, healthy life, right? You've mm -hmm. got those little phrases. Those are key. So think about what are the phrases that that are tied directly back to you because where you go, your brand follows like that. so that when people hear it, they think that's you. I've got to hang out with you. I've got to, I've got to follow up with you. I've got to refer you. I've got to do business with like you. It. So when you've got those little taglines and those phrases, the next time somebody hears it, they'll think of you. I like it. So where your brand goes, your what flows? Where you go, your brand follows. So someone do me a favor. You can look right below. That might just be the takeaway you write, you need right now. Where you go, your what? Your brand follows. Where you go, your brand follows. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. We're going to make it sticky. I think that's what you said. We're going to make it sticky. <laughs> so you look right below the video. And where you go, your what? Your brand follows. Where you go, your brand follows. Where you go, your brand follows. Where you? I want you to write that down right now because I want you to spotlight your business. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something in a moment. But where you go your brand follows and if you don't have a tagline if you don't have a takeaway if there's not one nugget you have it's okay that's why you want to be speaking to angel mm. tussie i'm gonna ask her who she works with i'm gonna ask her what type of clients that she likes to deal with i'm gonna ask her who's a good fit for her i'm gonna ask her do you have to earn a million dollars in your business to work with her i'm gonna ask her if she works with businesses that are under five hundred thousand dollars she have special programs for them i'm gonna ask her is she still involved with someone who's just only been in business for five years? No, they need to get into the, they need the media PR exposure. And yeah, you, once you think about it, marketing is what you say about yourself. PR is what other people say about you. Let me say that again. Marketing is what you say about yourself. Whenever you're talking marketing, they're just shouting who you are, how great you are, and they're trying to get that to as many people as possible. Darcy, I see you. Where you go, your brand follows. Malika said, where you go, your brand follows. PR is what someone says about you. So, so think about it this. Marketing gets the conversation going, Richard, if you're lucky, if you're fortunate and you spent the money. Marketing will get the conversation going. It gets it started. PR keeps it on the fast track. PR is the rocket fuel to take you to a whole nother level. Don't worry about that. We'll get into PR in just a moment. Don't worry about that. I know we, we're in overtime. She so got to go. I get it shortly. But, but don't worry about that. I'm, I'm not going to let it go without asking about the media. Because where your brand goes, your what? No, where you go, what happens again? Tell me that again. <laughs> I know it doesn't. It it doesn't really rhyme, but no, it does, it's, it's good though. Right? It's good. Where you go, where what you happens? go, your brand follows. That's a very important, very important point. So and earlier, I, you know what? I started saying that Shay when when people first got on social media and they had their personal pages, mm -hmm. personal profiles, yeah. and they would get really funny because. You know, they could post all this personal party, they, like an image that they said didn't really match them at work. It wasn't, you know, their professional bio versus their personal profile. But but Facebook, by putting us on Facebook and we could have both, it blurred that line between who you were personally and who you were professionally. And you could no longer keep them separated because where you went, your brand was right there with you on your personal profile the way you spoke personally when you hung out on social sites, like it was now part of who you are professionally. Used to be you could keep your professional, your personal life 
personal. You didn't right. bring it to work. People didn't know what you did on the, like they didn't know. Now everybody knows everything. And so that's where that phrase originated from. Yeah, they, they know and they care, right? <laughs> <laughs> they know and they care. You're like, hey, why, why is everybody working with me? Why is everybody in there? Look, this is very important because it's time for you to, to maximize your potential. It's time for you to go to another level. Do me a favor. I see Annette put where you go, your brand follows. Fred put where you go, where, you're, where you go, your brand follows. Let me get a passport ready. <laughs> I love that. I love That's that. Good. That was, like two thumbs up. That was good. Where did you get that from? That was good. I like that. Uh, Gina Brown says, "Where you go, your brand follows." And this is this is so so true. When we get back, we're gonna break down and come down the home stretch, and we're gonna learn about this whole media thing. Uh, we're gonna learn about this PR. We're gonna mm -hmm. learn about how you can take your business to an entirely level. Some of you watching right now, you're thinking, "Shay, this is great." Uh, Shay, how do I stay in the conversation? Go over to happyentrepreneurstribe.com and you can stay in the conversation. You, you can watch the replay and be right there. Some of you are watching right now saying, how do I get my hands on the notes from the show? I just want the notes. I got, if I just get the notes, I'm good to go. Here's what we're going to do. You can get the notes. Text the word revenue. You can look below it a bit. Text the word revenue right now to 202-999-3515. And give that number to you again so you can get your cell number out right now. Open up your browser and then go to messages. Type in 202-999-3515. Let me give that to you again. 202-999-3515. Once you type in 202-999-3515, put the word revenue. Put the word revenue. Now, doesn't cost you anything. No payments needed. Put the word revenue. Once you do that, just follow the instructions. And then we're not going to get you the notes, but we're going to get you the business toolbox and a very special bonus gift. Now, if you've done this before, you want to do it for this episode. You want to do it for this episode right now. So text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Get the notes and follow the gift. With that being said, as soon as we get back, we got Angel. Now, I don't know if you've ever been able to have a conversation with someone that's done 2,000 shows, interviewed over 4,000 guests, written 10 books, bestsellers that are on Amazon right now, someone that has interviewed guest after guest, question after question. I'm not even doing an interview. We're just hanging out. You're hanging out with us right now on the Happy Entrepreneur Show, and she's just here with no questions. She didn't come with no demands. There was no laundry list of what I can do and I can't do. She said, I showed up to help someone else. I showed up because I believe that you have the potential inside of you. That's you, not me, it's me and you, but you have the potential inside of you to perform at a much higher level than whatever level you're performing at right now. Or oh, I showed up for the person that's ready, Shay, for a breakthrough. They've done all they can do. They worked as hard as they can work. They believe in their product. They're walking in their purpose. They're walking in their passion. But there's a challenge for all of you who are texting the word revenue. There's a challenge for those folks that are texting the word revenue. There's a challenge to 202-999-3515. And the challenge is that you need the rocket fuel in your business right now to take it to another level so it doesn't include your labor, it doesn't include you having to do anything but do what you do best. Mm. And she's gonna share one, two, or three ideas. When you come back, this is the, look, you don't wanna miss it. We'll be back in just a moment. We're gonna go over to none other than my good friend who's just an awesome, incredible human being. And he's gonna talk about know your source to maximize your potential. We'll be right back in just a moment with none other than Angel Tussie. Hey, what's up, folks? This is Anthony Abrams, and I am excited to be sharing with you guys on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Today is my January 1st. Now, look, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 ways to maximize your potential. Again, 10 ways how to maximize your potential. But today, we're only going to talk about one. Now look, the first step in maximizing your potential is this. You've got to be able, you got to know your source. I repeat, you got to know your source. Now if you tuned in before, you saw me talk about how I sat down at the kitchen table, opened up the yellow pages or the white pages, and I began to call and find my dad. That's a true story. The reason, why did I do that? Because I grew up with my, my mom. I was like, I had questions. Why am I so tall? Why am I bigger than everyone else? Why do I think this way? Why I had this bald head? You know what I'm talking about. I needed to know my source. The same thing happens with you guys. And consider this. You want to know your source. Once you know what you're made of and where you come from and what you're built from, then you get to understand 
how you can better charge out into the world and take advantage of what you were designed to do. Now, once I did that, my whole world transformed. I mean, I understood, oh, wow, this is why I think this way. And he supercharged my life and set me on a whole nother path. I want you guys to consider doing the exact same thing. And another thing is, when you're looking for your source, consider this. Consider understanding what is your spiritual source. Mm. It took me to a whole nother level. Now, look, I got to get out of here, but I want you guys to tune in next week as I bring you step number two. And remember, as always, sow good seeds, do good work, reap, then teach to repeat. Until next week. Peace. Let's get for none other than the one and only Anthony Abrams. Maximize your potential. How important is that? It is your time to maximize where you are for where you are going. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. You're on with the one, the only, the fabulous one, the one. Angel Tussie, <laughs> and she's talking about today how to really use media to grow your business, extend your brand, bring in new clients, and make a bigger difference in the world. And why would you want to listen to her? Well, she's an award-winning national radio host. Now, anybody, as I said before, who's been doing this for 10 years, anyone who's had over 2,000 episodes, I celebrated 100 episodes. I was like, thank God for 100 episodes. I had a party like it was my birthday party. <laughs> I can't think about 2,000 episodes, but she did it. Interviewed over 4,000 guests, and she's here right now to break it down for you. But why is that important? Well, you know, one of my favorite segments, by the way, before we get into talking about this media, how does she get off the couch as a mom and then become and win the award for Women of the Year? Okay. I want to slow down, and then we're going to speed up. One of my favorite segments, Angel, is when I step back, and I talk about the power of today is my January 1. Today oh. is my January 1. Mm. And, and for those folks that are watching for the very first time and you're, you're tuning in and you're thinking, what media? You're thinking, no, I got to do speaking. You're thinking, no, I got to get in front of a camera. And so much that I want you to know that you can do this even if you've been on track before and tried and got off track. Even if you hired people and it didn't work out, even if you had to change professions, change careers, today is still your January 1st. So the reason I say today is my January 1st is you think about, and I always remind you where I was back on December 31st. Now, maybe after a couple of drinks on the back of a napkin, you started writing down your goals. This was going to be your year. This was your time. New relationship, new clients, using new technology. You're going to go online. You're going to math. You're going to learn and master this online thing. You were going to extend your brand. You were going to spend more time with your husband or your wife or the person you cared the most about. And you were excited. And you start telling everybody, today is my January 1st. I got to get going. Today is my January 1st. And the energy, the effort was there. And so that became a mantra. That became a belief. And that became something that I started telling myself every day in good times and bad times. And here's why I tell them in that self. Because today is my January 1st represents that your past does not equal your future. That you can't do anything about your past, but you can create the future because the future, by definition, doesn't exist. The future is imaginary. We're always in the present moment. There's a moment. There's a moment. There's a moment. In any moment in time, we can make a change. They say change your mind, change your life. Change your mind, change your life. And isn't that so true that you can do that? That you can own the moment and you can own the day and such you will own your life so here's what i want you to do i want you to look right below the video look right below the video and i want you to write this mantra down that today is my january 1st restart today is my january 1st i get a rebirth today is my january 1st i get to restart today is my january 1st i get to re-energize today is my january 1st today is my january 1st Today is my January 1st. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And not only are you writing today is my January 1st, but this is an opportunity for you to say, what will I do differently? What changes will I make? Now, the purpose of this show is to inspire, is to encourage, and is to give you the resources you need to live a well-being life as an entrepreneur. But I know that sometimes we're on track and then we're off track. And isn't life like that? You think about the zone diet. 
It's a series of being on track and then we're off track. And then we're on track and then we're on track. And the reason I like the zone diet, Angel, the reason I love the zone diet, never did the zone diet, but I love the mantra, is they tell themselves that every day. I'm one meal from being back on track again. I'm one meal from being back on track. And right now, you are one idea. How many ideas do you need to change your life? One. Angel's going to give the fire in just a moment. Don't worry about that. But first, I want you right below the video, just like Jacqueline Taylor Adams. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. I can do whatever I want to do. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to start my leadership skills. Today is my January 1st. I'm doing something different in my business. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to the gym. Whatever it is for you, today is your, my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. You know, Angel, when you hear those words, today is my January 1st, what goes through your mind? But first, I want you to repeat after me. I'm going to say one, two, three. And I just want you to say today is my January 1st. This is one of my favorite things because it gets me excited but it also helps me to take action. And one of the things I learned from Tony Robbins is you gotta be in a peak state sometimes. You gotta change your state. And as soon as you change your state, mm-hmm. things happen for you. So my state is I always tell myself, today is my January 1st. And it doesn't matter what's going on in my life, I feel the burst of energy, I feel the excitement, and then I take action because I know the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So like Nicole Brown Hurston who put, today is my January 1st. Fred Willis put today is my January 1st. Annette put today is my January 1st. Repeat after me, if you will, Angel. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. I love it. Love it. One more time. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Now, when you hear those words that today is my January 1st, what goes through your mind? What do you hear? And what actions are you going to take that may be different than the actions you take every single day? And if you listen to me right now, you're saying, Shay, no, it's not. I always tell myself this. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm not going to eat more vegetables. I'm not going to write in my journal. I'm not going to get into technology. I want you to tell yourself this. Mm. Not only is today my January 1st, but I want you to tell yourself this. Shay Brown, that's me. You can write it down on your notepad. You can put a sticky if you want. You can stick it to your computer. You can put it to your mirror. But every morning when you wake up over the next seven days, I want you to read this thing that says Shay Brown holds the belief for me mm-hmm. that I believe in you. Today is your January 1st. I hold the belief in you because sometimes you need someone else to believe in you before you can believe in yourself. So today is your January 1st. You will take more action. You will have more impact. You will raise your standards. You will step to another level and you will make a difference in the world for what you were called to do because you are a freak of nature. You are special and you are incredible and you have seeds of greatness inside you. And because of Angel being here right now, it's going to happen. So today is my January 1st. I see you, Tashika. Today is my January 1st. I see you, Morella. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. So Angel, one more time. Today is my what? Today is my January 1st. Today is my what? My January 1st. When you hear those words, what goes through your mind and what message would you want to share with everyone out there that's writing like a net? Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Well, Shay, I, I've always been a January 1st goal setter. My husband and I, would we sit down, we pull out our planners, we pull out last year's goals, we separate them down into family, faith, finance, fitness, like all the, the F categories, right? And, and we review them on the first of every month. We get together and review our goals. Like, this is my juicy space. I love, I love living and setting those goals. My friend Carrie Conley, who I don't know if she's still on here listening, but she just did a whole, a whole podcast on September 1st being like the January 1st for entrepreneurs, like right after the summer and, and, and having that momentum and leading us you know, out of, out of this year right into, you know, into, mm-hmm. into the next calendar year. But, but there's something so exciting and so powerful. I used to always buy a calendar and I just loved having that fresh, clean calendar that I get, I got to write my slate, right? I got to write my story and I, I did, I got to start all over. And so the fact that you do this segment every day on this show and your audience gets to be in this brand new space, right? Wherever we are, it, it doesn't matter what yesterday was. Where are we going? And what am I doing today to make that impact? 
So I would say for me, even though, I mean, we've had this amazing last 18 months after I retired from radio, I've been traveling, we've, um, everything in my life used to be so cookie cutter scheduled and now it's so super spontaneous and, and I've swung that pendulum, but I think something that I really feel like I've been missing and, and, um, kind of been putting that on the back burner are, are so some of those close relationships that I used to see of people I used to see on a regular basis when I was at home all the time mm-hmm. that I've allowed, I've just allowed a little too much space to come in. And I think I want to be far more intentional about my personal, my personal relationships. Yeah. And, and how does, how does, how does that make you feel when you're, when you're more intentional about your personal relationships? How does that make you feel? And then um, how does that help impact what you do on a daily basis? I think that that so often we forget it. We're just that we forget the impact we have on people around us. And I think that it's far greater than we can ever imagine it to be. And, and I don't want to underestimate that. And I don't want to take those relationships for granted. And, and so even though I know there are a lot of those relationships where it doesn't matter how much time has passed, we can always pick up the phone and just catch right back up and start right back up. Um, we don't know what tomorrow holds. And and I, I want to live each day to the fullest. And in knowing that, that if I thought of them, that I reached out and I and I touched them and I and they just know that I love them. Very, very well said. Well, today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st, and you can do that. You can shift where you are right now and get a restart and a rebirth. You're here watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. My name is Shay Brown, the host, and none other on the other side is Angel Tussie. We come back. It's the last segment. We come back. I'm going to go into some hard-hitting questions. I'm going to ask her how she got into media. I'm going to ask her her number one tip that she used and the number one idea that was the driver to get her from being a stay-at-home mom to being honored as the woman of the year. And then we're going to close up, but I I just had to share that today is my January 1st. With that being said, we're going to go over to Anisha over in Las Vegas. You know what? It takes what it takes. Yeah, it takes what it takes to be successful. This is your time. This is your year. Take it away. My name's Anisha Garrett from Elise and Co. And I am so excited to be here with you guys in the happy entrepreneur tribe. You know what guys, today is my January 1st. I hope it's yours too, because what that means is I get to wake up and be so enthusiastic about taking on my goals. But I want you guys to understand this. This is so important when it comes to setting and accomplishing your goals. It takes what it takes. Now, I don't want you guys to be in a rush. So many of us are in a rush to get things done. There's a difference between being in a rush and moving with urgency. Urgency means you're you're putting deadlines behind it. You're staying accountable to it. Rushing leads to so many problems. One of the biggest problems that rushing can lead to is you tend to make mistakes silly mistakes because you're not paying attention to the details and the details are what matter so much it what it's what sets you apart it what it's what makes you an elite right and that's what we are here that's why we're here that's why we're part of this community because we are the next level of entrepreneurs and so i want you to consider that i want you to pay attention and understand that it just takes what it takes You are where you need to be. You are doing a fantastic job. I don't want you to start moving and getting crazy and second guessing yourself because it takes what it takes. The other thing that so many of us are doing, we're not taking the time to stop and smell the roses. Can you remember the last time you were on a road trip? So on a road trip, the best ones that I can remember, I was looking at the, out the window. I was taking in the sights and sounds. I was enjoying the music, even though it was my husband's playlist, but I was enjoying all of the senses of that. And that's what I want you to do on this journey as you seek out to accomplish your goals. Remember, every day it can be your January 1st. You wake up and you get at it and you get in it with great enthusiasm. So I can't wait to see what you guys do next here in the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend some time with you. And until I talk to you again, make it an amazing day. Make it an amazing week. It takes what it takes. I love it. It takes 
what it takes. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And just write those words. It takes what it takes. It takes what it takes to get off the couch as a stay-at-home mom. It takes what it takes to build your business in the media world. It takes what it takes to master your craft. It takes what it takes to be able to go out there and have a setback and start over again. It takes what it takes to walk in after 10 years on the air, have someone tell you that we're making a change, pack your stuff, thanks a lot, sayonara, goodbye, see you later, and have to start all over again. It takes what it takes to show up on an episode like this and pour out and share with you for the amount of time she's sharing. So do me a favor, everyone that's out there right now, look right below the video because today is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. And I got to understand when I take the actions, it takes what it takes to make the phone calls for you to get new clients. It takes what it takes for you to be able to submit. No matter what she tells you, your best copy, your best articles, your best videos, it takes what it takes. And when you do that, guess what happens? They tell you no. You can't be on the show. They tell you no, they're not going to put it in the newspaper. They tell you no, they're not going to play it on the radio. They tell you no, but what? It takes what it takes. So do me a favor right now. Look right below that video. Look right below that video and write these words. It takes what it takes. Today is my January 1st. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in every single one of you that the best is still yet to come. The best is still yet to come. The best is still what? The best is to come. Yeah. For every one of you out there, the best is yet to come. And why is that? Because Angel's here right now to kind of share with you and to really break down with you exactly what you need. And why is that? Because she understands that media equals leads. Mm. And leads represent hope. Leads represent hope. It takes what it takes, but in order for you to generate the revenue, you've got to have leads. So I'm going to go over to her. We're going to ask a couple of hard-hitting questions to come right down the home stretch. But I want to thank her for her time. Thank her for spending this time with us. But I want you to understand that media equals leads. Media equals opportunities. Media equals exposure. Media is the rocket fuel you need right now to blast off your business. So today is my January 1st. We're going to blast that business off. We'll be back in just a moment. Angel Tessie, I'm a media exposure specialist. So that you can create exposure because exposure leads to leads and leads is how we get customers. And customers is how we get money. How many of you would love to make more money this year? Right, right. So I'm gonna teach you the three critical steps to getting all of that done today. Number one way you to get results is to connect more people with your audience. To be able to tell your story in a way that isn't an infomercial. It's not your 30 second elevator pitch, but it's really telling your story and making an impact, getting to the heart and soul of your customer. What keeps them up at night? What's their biggest challenge? What's their pain? And let me tell you, what you do in your sleep is what keeps people up at night. Wow, I love that. Leads represent revenue. Why do you say that? Leads represent revenue and clients. Um, media equals, I'm sorry, media equals leads. Take a moment, if you would, and tell us how did you get in to this whole profession, number one. And then num number two, um, how did you go from being an on-the-couch mom <laughs> to actually doing what you love to do? Break that, break, break that down for us, please. Break that down for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> that's a big question, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's a big question, right? So she's like, Shay, you just you just gave me a shotgun. No worries. Let me <laughs> let me let me help you out. Step number one, by the way, step number one. What were you thinking when you were a stay at home mom that, that got you to say it's time for a change? That's number one. So what what was the motivation behind going from a stay at home mom to getting into business? Well, I, I, I will tell you, I love being a mom and I love my children, but I had gotten to a place where I felt unfulfilled staying at home. I repainted how, you know, this room and that room and I was doing laundry and I, I just felt like there needed, there, there was something missing and something more. And it's so as I started to, you know, I took tennis lessons, I took cake decorating lessons. I just tried to figure out who do I want to be besides just my kids' moms? I was volunteering in the schools, but now the kids were 
were um, in school most of most of the time, and I just I just felt really unfulfilled, and it was a, kind of a dark time even for my marriage because I just thought there was more more to me than I had been than I had been delivering. And I ended up running a MOPS program, Mothers of Preschoolers, at my at my church, which I had never been in leadership before. That introduced me to a gentleman who hired me to be his admin and in doing some marketing for him. And of course, I didn't know anything about marketing, publicity, PR, but I am a really good student. And I started learning everything that I could about marketing. And I started teaching other business owners through our local chamber of commerce. I learn it, I do it, and I teach it. <laughs> and that's kind of how it started in my in my wheelhouse was learning about marketing. How do you how do you network? How do you position yourself as an expert? Because I was teaching him what to do. I since he had hired me, mm-hmm. and then I was teaching other other entrepreneurs and business owners that we were networking and doing business with and ended up doing a an event at a at a chamber and they said you should start you should start your own podcast and it was at a time with when anybody with a cell phone connection and an internet connection a cell phone and an internet connection was starting starting podcasts and that's what opened our door into media how I ended up how I ended up in the in the media space but but before that, in becoming that that you know from stay at home mom to most influential woman leader of the year, was in that in that middle space where I honestly I was just trying to figure out what what made my heart tick and how do I serve and how do I give back and how do I how do I fill this void that was happening in my life and I didn't in in trying to figure out who I wanted to be when I grew up I created. A women's group. I created a charity. I created a networking. I, you know, I just created all of these things, mostly because I was unsettled. But in the creation of that was now the foundation for what you see today. Wow, what what a blessing! What would you say to the to the mom or dad that's sitting on the couch right now and, and saying, "Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, that's that's me." But and there's fear, and there's fear that they they don't have. The letters behind their name. There's fear that they don't have the experience, although you did it. And there's fear that's kind of gripping them right now. Um, what would you say to them um, uh, to encourage or to inspire them to, to take that first step? Because it, for you, you were able to do it, and you're on the other side now. But um, what about the person that's heard the story? It's like, yeah, God, can I do this? They're wondering, can I do this? Well, and and I just I just saw a meme not too long ago on social media. Like every famous, you know, famous personality, every celebrity, every great author, every successful business owner, right? anybody who has who has achieved something pretty incredible has one thing in common, and that is that they started before they were any of those things. Mm. So all of us, wherever, like we have to just start, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, it won't be. And I think that the idea of the imposter syndrome, like we think we're faking it, like that phrase, fake it till you make it. And we all feel a little bit like imposters. And there's no way that we can't. But start every day with gratitude. Start and end every day with gratitude. But just start. Just just start. Because behind every success, that we all started before we were those things. Wow. Just mm. get going. Just start. Mm. You know, I know one of your, your, your slogans is, is we're coming down probably two or three more questions. We're coming down the home stretch. What's up, Malika? I see you. And I see you, Karen. One of yours is be so visible they can't <laughs> ignore you. Be <laughs> so visible they can't ignore you. Um, we're now moving over a little bit to the media side. Um, and we're hearing from the expert. And if you were to have a conversation with someone and they say, wow, I just heard that. Be so visible that uh, you can't ignore me. What would you say, and hold that thought for just a second, but what would you say to them? Because I love how you talk about using the power of media to really expose your business. Think about that for a moment. We come back, she's gonna answer that question, and then that's it, she's gonna answer that question. Be so visible, they can't ignore you. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Angel Tussie, and I'm a media exposure specialist. My team and I use innovative media, radio, television, podcasts, to exponentially grow your business. 
I spent 10 years hosting my own radio show, helping small business owners get the most out of their radio ads. I discovered that an on-air interview created just as much visibility and qualified leads as a 60-second commercial. So I created a program to help small business owners leverage the power of publicity to get more leads and create more revenue. Hosting two daily radio shows for four hours a day put me in the top 1% of my industry. I'm also a nine times published author and a national public speaker. What I love most about what we do is that it makes a difference. I've watched so many small business owners struggle with sales, but after our program, people will say to them, I've heard of you. It's proven that constantly being featured in the media can produce unlimited leads without ever leaving your home or office. I spend a lot of time in front of an audience, working non-traditional hours, so whenever I'm not working, I love to spend the day at the beach with my family. The best way to reach me is by visiting my personal website, angeltussie360.com. Wow, I love it. I love how you summed all that up. Um, break it down for folks that are watching right now. Be so visible, they can't ignore you. Everyone go out there and visit her website, angeltussie360.com. Again, angeltussie, T-U-C-C-Y, 360.com. Um, before you break it down, tell us first the type of clients you work with um, that your organization is looking for to attract. You know, do they have to do a million dollars in business? Do they have to have 30 employees? Um, you know, so tell us a little about the type of, of, of business you look, to, you look to work with. And then after that, talk a little about the phrase, be so visible, they can't ignore you. We're going to have to have a part two, obviously. So we have to bring you back. So I hope, one, you'll come back. I really do because we got it. we're out of time. We've been out of time. We're like in double overtime. Anybody know about sports? We're in triple overtime. Her husband went to run 50 or went to bike 50 miles a day. Well, we're at about like 80 right now, okay? So we're coming down the home stretch. But I want to tell you first what type of clients she works with because I don't know if she's taking on additional clients right now. So I want to make sure she is. And then number two, be so visible they can't ignore you in her you know two minute frame trying to frame the conversation for what does that represent and what do you need to do as a business to do that well thank you for allowing me to share i have a membership um a year-long membership program so we are accepting we are accepting new clients it includes group coaching online program and a couple of full day events throughout the year that you get to participate in but really we're looking for we're looking for influencers somebody who you just know you've got a story that needs to be out into the world that people need to hear your story that your your business if more people were to say i've heard of you that you would elevate and grow you've been on that hamster wheel of just busy and you know that if if your platform if your story was shared you would make that bigger impact really my goal is to teach 10,000 entrepreneurs how to reach 10,000 entrepreneurs and together that's where we'll impact our million um, and you can find out more about that at angeltussie360.com I've got a 10-day media transformation guide that'll help you be so visible that you can't be ignored I like that now how do they get the guide where do they go to do where do they go to to get the guide again please just so they know um, if you go to angeltussie360.com, okay. there's a, um, a little button that says free tips, okay. and you can click right on there. So um, just so I'm clear one more time. So someone, someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and go to angel, T-U-C-C-Y, 360. Is that what you said? Yes. Dot com? Yes. You can even, you, or if. If it would be simpler, because no, what no, we no, share, no, that's no? fine. Okay. They, they got okay. this thing. They got this thing. Okay. It's not, this is this is not their first rodeo. It's not their first <laughs> okay. rodeo. So I'm going to the site, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go. She know we're going to do this, but let's just go be nosy and let's see if the site works. Because sometimes these sites don't work. They tell you all these stories and sites don't even work. All right. So can you can you guys can you guys take us to the site? Okay. We're going to the site live. We're here real time. So this is the site here, right? Am I looking at the site? Angel, yes, yes, yes. Tussie 360. All right. So what do I do on the site? So I go to Instagram. You see where it says free tips, the little bubbles, the little chat yes. bubbles? Right here. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's all click on it. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Okay. So go to Angel T-U-C-C-Y 360. I think they can see us in the bottom. Can you, can you see the screen? All right. Mm -hmm. Angel Tussie 360.com. We're there. And then someone put that in the, the video right below. 
Then we go to Angel's Free Tips. Is that what we want? We want right here? Yep. Free right, Tips Media? Right in the middle. The free okay. tips. Let's see if this works, ladies and gentlemen. Guaranteed media exposure. Okay, so we can enroll for free. We can watch the promo. Oh, this is some good stuff. All right. Um, I'm going to enroll right now. Tell me a little about this. It says, okay, online links back to your website, reaching millions of viewers. I like that. Gaining visibility online. Now, what if, what if the person is um, has not really done this? They've done a few Facebook lives, but nobody's listening, by the way. They've done a few podcasts. No one's listening. They've called and tried to book guests, but they're not getting the guests they want. Um is this going to help them as well? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you're, so, you're, you're teaching this too. Oh, my gosh. So you are the instructor? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've got to all register. So I know you're going to answer the question in a minute. Oh, here's the curriculum here. All right. So they don't need to ask you any questions. Course curriculum. Headlines. Join the big impact. Why do you call it big impact? Tell us, tell us about that for a moment while I go up here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if it works, everyone. Uh <laughs> If I play this, it's probably not gonna play on here, will it? Can you can you can you can you, uh, can you see it or is it kind of sticking? I can see it. Right, Hi, my name it. is Angel Tessie. I'm a media exposure specialist. I am on a mission to help small business owners create more exposure, get more people to say I've heard of you, and help you speak one to many instead of building your business just one to one. Which relationships are built one to one, but a scalable business is made one to many. I know the world needs to hear your story. I want to help you leverage other people's platforms, leverage the power of media to tell your story, to share your experience, and attract more perfect clients back to you. I'm offering a free media guide, a complimentary media guide, to help you get your foot in the door and to help you get started. You can download this guide at makeyourbigimpact.com. That's makeyourbigimpact.com. You have a story to share. I want to make sure that we put a microphone and a spotlight on you. Wow. Okay. So I love the video. You should send me this video. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to register while she tells you a little bit about the pro. We're done, everyone. We're like in overtime. But some of y'all like to get the free stuff. Y'all like the goodies. Okay. So I'm going to put my email in. Let's see if this thing works. Now, I don't want y'all to. Don't, don't, don't. Nobody email me. I'm putting in my real email. All right, so, so tell us tell us about this. Now, you guys go over there now. Go to angeltuccy360.com while she tells you what I'm registering for because I don't think they can see what I'm registering for. <laughs> what they're registering for is a complimentary guide to create guaranteed media exposure for you and your brand. Huh. Guaranteed media exposure. So you're going to get a list of media platforms that – um, will feature you to kind of to kind of start the snowball, create the momentum. If you've never told your media story or positioned yourself as an expert or an influencer, we're going to walk you through that so that you can create create this brand exposure. Most entrepreneurs, there's they're looking for more money, and money comes from customers, and mm. customers comes from leads, and leads comes from exposure. Exposure is the number one thing that is holding you back or from telling your story and making your big impact in the world. With more exposure, right? Cash is king, right? And we've kind of all discovered, I think Tom Hopkins said, 80% of, of business problems could be solved with more sales. How do you create more sales? You get more exposure, more swings, right? More swings at the bat. And an exposure without a call to action and not leveraging that exposure to build your funnel and build your email list is where most small business owners kind of drop the ball. So we're not just creating visibility for the sake of visibility. We're creating visibility so you can grow your list, so you can monetize and make more money and, and create more revenue. Same I, thing, I guess. I, no, no. I love love how you did that. Give, give them the web website once again. Dorsey says she's, she's all in, by the way. She is all in. <laughs> angeltussie360.com angeltussie360.com you can get the free tips you can follow me on my social media sites you can even connect with me directly um, text me email me get booked on my calendar all from angeltussie360.com man that's great go to angeltussie360.com go ahead 
You can even get to my Amazon site with all my books from the Angel Tessie 360 site as well. Oh, man, that's cool. That's like super amazing. This is incredible. Look, I'm really excited. Let's give it up for none other than Angel Tessie who's been here in double overtime, triple overtime. I'm going to have her give the final comments to close us out for the evening. Um, give us her thoughts. Um, I did register. You can, can they see it does work. So you not have to worry about no broken links. It works. I got it right here. The course is coming to me or whatever is coming to me in email. So it's coming to me. I'm going to give her a minute just to get her thoughts together because I wanted to close out with her final comments to everyone's out there. I'm going to ask her first, is she available to speak at conferences, um, speak on podcasts, do interviews? She ain't doing a long interview like this, all right? All right? She's not doing a long one like this. <laughs> but in all seriousness, if they want to they wanna book you as a speaker, bring you into a, a podcast, have you on a webinar, bring you into a boot camp. Um, how do they reach out to you? Is it still angeltussie360.com? Is that, is that where they should go? That is correct. You can get right on my calendar or you can text me. I am super excited to come and serve your audience. The one thing that everybody is looking for is more marketing and exposure. And so I collaborate well. I play well in the sandbox with others. And if, if it makes sense for us to work together, I would be I would be honored and delighted. That's right. So look right below the video. Look right below the video. Say thank you. Thank you, Angel. When she comes back, she closes out. We're done. We're done. But look, you know, this is very important. Be so visible. They can't ignore you. Be so visible. They can't ignore you. I'm going to give her a minute to get to get her thoughts together. And she's going to close out with her final comments. But she's available to speak. We know that now. We'll be right hello, back. Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Letitia Nicole Beatty, CEO, founder of Speak Life Enterprises. And today is my January 1st. But before I give you my thought of the week, I'm going to say, hey, Shea Brown, the visionary and founder of this amazing group, Happy Entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for creating this space. Now, let me tell you my thought of the week. Listen, refine your focus to increase your finances. I'm gonna say it again. Refine your focus to increase your finances. So I have a small story. Really, 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 really small. Not, 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 not too much. One time, I found myself all over the place. I know I had a bunch of clients. I had to go to school because getting my PhD and doing all these things. And I also knew I had a goal for the week to make a certain amount of money. I had to refine my focus on my finances so I can increase that paycheck that was coming in by Friday. As an entrepreneur, this is what we have to do. So this is when I learned about refining my focus to increase my finances. Now, this is my thought of the week. And until next time, I want you to refine your focus so you can increase your finances in your business. Refine your focus. Refine your focus. Refine your focus. Thanks a lot. None other than the one and only Nicole Letitia. We appreciate uh, Letitia Nicole. We appreciate you. You're here watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. We're going to go over to Angel because Angel has been here. She's talking about the benefits and the importance of being so visible. They can't ignore you. That is so important. So, Angel, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to let you know we appreciate you. I want to turn over you to have your final thoughts your final comments as we close out this episode. Uh, we do want to have you back again. Won't be for this type of episode. <laughs> It'll be for a segment episode, but we do want to have you because that media is so important. And without the power of those pi without the power of those fiber optic lines right now, mm. I wouldn't be connecting with you. Mm. And you and and you over in California or are you over on the East Coast or are you over in the West Coast or are you overseas or wherever you are right now through the power of those fiber optic lines, you're hearing the sound of my voice or you're watching us with your own eyes right now. We all can participate no matter where we are. So you know that it's important. You get it intellectually. Now you need to implement it and make sure it works for you. So I know you're here because you know it works. I know you're here because you understand. Now it's just a matter of getting it done. Refine your focus to increase your finances. Refine mm -hmm. your focus in the area of media. Do that now. With that being said, Angel, thank you so much. Um, we look forward to having you back. And we look forward to you sharing your thought of the week with the audience, by the way, as they learn from you. 
I'll turn over you for the final thoughts and final comments. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Again, Shay, I had a great time and I'm so honored. Thank you so much. I want your audience to know that there are an unlimited number of media outlets, podcasts, magazines, TV shows, radio shows, online programs, and they are looking for fresh new content every day. I want you to ask yourself, why not me? Right? You get what you order. So if you want to impact hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions, make sure that you leverage OPP, other people's platforms, and go out and create an unlimited amount of media exposure for yourself. My name's Angel Tessie, media exposure specialist. It has been my honor and privilege to be here tonight. Shay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Angel. We appreciate you. Thank you all if you're watching. Thank you, Malika. Thank you, Dorsey. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, everyone who made comments right below the video. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for hitting that share button. Thank you for paying it forward. Thank you all who are watching the replay. Thank every single one of you for participating. You are amazing. You are incredible. And I know for you, the best is yet to come. You are unique. You are different. You've got the talents you need and you are enough. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we're going to make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you all success. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. Got, no, none other than Andy Harikas. And, and we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. That's the promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, we no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. And every time I step Man. up in the field, yeah. everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. And they stay there.